What's going on, guys? It's Guitar Guy. Apologies for the dog barking in the background. Someone just came home and he gets all crazy. But either way, are you guys stoked or what? We're going to get to see some mid-air pugs. I couldn't be more excited about it. So the uh, 48 hours of midair is going on right now. And I got to say, it's very impressive that so many of you have come out to support this indie game, supporting Archetype Studios and uh, midair in general. It's it's an awesome game, so cannot blame you guys whatsoever. Very much looking forward. Let's see what we're going to be looking at for the next few hours as I look at the teams here. So... These teams have gone through already, and they have set up their team, so we're not going to have to go through the picking process or anything like that. We will be seeing three maps tonight. It's going to be Ice Wind, which is your standard CTF base map, Verdant, which is a base map as well, and Menora, which is actually LT. For anyone out there that's not familiar with LT, it's basically you get to spawn in your loadout and just go. Uh, now, there is a bit of a rule set where... Essentially, you only get to have chain gun your ring launcher as well as a grenade launcher. And so no sniping or anything like that in LT. And no deployables, anything like that. But Monora is a really fun map to watch. I'm really looking forward to watching these great players get on there. I'm going to take a look in the server right now. See what's going on. Let them know I'm ready when they are. <laughs> so and also for anyone that doesn't know we are going to be playing on new york servers there's also going to be a mixture of europeans as well as north american players and uh gotta say the netcode in this game is amazing so not going to be seeing too many complaints about ping and also i want to say shout out to uh cobras who did a phenomenal job within the past few days of getting the observer mode up and running and to uh, pretty good standards for being such pre-alpha so shout out to cobras out there we'll see what these uh teams are looking at right now so the first team that is going to be ran by dark lord who was actually a uh what is a legions overdrive player and dark lord picked mavi stork meller narc implosions and fet all of those names are going to be familiar to you guys if you were around during the early tribes ascend days or even back in the T1 and T2 days. And the second team is actually picked by Projectile. And they're going to have Angry Pollock, Fire, Tarzul, Descalada, Sin, and Aunt. And uh, for any of you guys that don't know, Sin and Aunt are actually both Legion players. Projectile, of course, the Tribes 2 classic player. Angry Pollock coming from the Tribes Ascend era. Uh, Fire mixed in between the Legions and the Tribes Ascend era as well. Uh, Tarzul, Tribes 2, Descalada from Tribes 2. So it's going to be really great to see these. And it looks like they're even bringing in some more players here for the base portion of this cast. So looking forward to it. I've let them know that I am ready. And Dark Lord asking if we're playing this first. So they're still getting some questions answered. <laughs> Boss Dog says to advertise his Twitch, style, his Twitch while we wait, which is twitch.tv slash boss dog with two G's, triple X. There you go, Boss Dog. Can't say I never did anything for you. Oh, is Aunt from T2? I thought he was from Legions. By the way, thank you for the correction, sir. While we're kind of in this limbo, talk about the midair Kickstarter. You guys can go to playmidair.com slash kickstarter get all the information you need get the all the different tiers and everything that they have available by clicking on that support our kickstarter button and really just uh kind of invest in your future as a gamer because this game i gotta tell you uh, for all the work that these guys have put in it's just amazing considering they're all just uh people that have kind of donated their time over the years. They've obviously c collected quite a bit of talent out there, but still it is a process and it does take some money. So let's help these guys out and let's really, really enjoy these games as they should be starting up soon. Dark Lord says we are ready whenever. All right. 
And we'll get a read down of the rosters. As I said, the seven that I named out before were kind of uh, the preliminary picks, but there were more people that signed up, so I believe that they will be bringing in some more for the base portion, maybe going down a bit on the player numbers once we get into LT. And see right now, got some rail guns. Keep in mind that those rail guns are not hit scan. They are actually a very fast projectile. So very difficult to land shots with those from a long distance. Of course, we got the good old turret over here doing its job, protecting that flag. All right. I thought you were live. <laughs> is this not the game? No, it is not quite the game yet, Mabel. Still waiting on these guys. So just sit here and watch these guys get shot at by some plasma turrets, fight over the flag. And for anyone out there that has played a tribes game in the past, I got to say, I, I got the opportunity to play in some pugs a few nights ago and it just feels so good coming from a background of tribes it just it feels so fluid and uh yeah it's it's just an amazing game for what they really have to work with right now so nice little ma action going back and forth there you go there's the mid airs already sin shouting out high stream dark lord asking projectile if he's ready i am ready asking me if i'm ready that's very sweet of dark lord All right, let's get this started, guys. We're going to restart the map here. Everyone's going to get on the correct team. We'll read down the rosters. We'll get to see some awesome games. So they're going to go live after Midair Esports Invitational brought to you by Papa John's for 100,000. Jeez, that Papa John's never going to go away. And while we just uh, wait a little bit, yeah, Papa John's former sponsor of Team Icarus. <laughs> but you can see here the first person observing in this game is great. Right now we're watching Dark Lord. You can see his name down in the uh, bottom left-hand portion of the screen. And up in the top right portion, you have your in-game timer. You have the team scores, as well as uh, I believe it's an, if it's an explanation mark, that means the flag is not currently at home. And if it is the at symbol, then it is at home. Just to give you guys a little context. And I will make the screen bigger here once we get into the game. All right, guys. Are you ready for some midair action? I believe this is the first time something on this scale has been casted. So I'm really just very thankful that the guys over at Archetype Studios, Bug Spray, gave me the opportunity to do this. If I can spell spectate, we can go into spectator mode, switch over to the correct screen, not the other screen. We'll go to that one later. By the way, match is in its warm-up time. Everyone's getting situated. Maybe some people need to go into spectator mo mode. But yeah, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game starting right now. Get a read down of the rosters on Team Red. This is Projectile's team. We have Projectile, Aunt, Fire, Descalada, Angry Pollock, Nordsmark, Tarzel, Sin, and Is a Smurf. And over on Team Blue, we have Implosions, Shanky Poo, Dark Lord, Meller, Boss Dog, Narc, Elixir, Mavi, and Stork. Just give me a second here. Apologies as I turn off the music in the background. Not really necessary while I'm casting. So we'll see what these teams start off with here. This is the base mode, so you will see some heavies. You're going to be seeing a majority of lights, I would imagine. But it looks like we actually have Shanky Poos going in the... Oh, what an MA there. I think that was Stork getting the MA on Sin as he comes in. He's still able to make it out somewhat. Going to try and pass that flag off over to Tarzel. Not going to quite get... Oh, no. Tarzel actually body blocks is a smurf as he comes in. Tarzel now in a lot of trouble trying to move with this flag. He's going to toss it off. We have a lot of heavies actually coming out here. This is Descalada now. Probably going to pass it off over to Izzy. No, he's actually just going to take it for himself. 
On the other side, Nark does pick up the flag for the blue team, but he immediately goes down. I don't see a lot of eminent chase right now on to Desclada, but it looks like he's going to have some offense that are coming in, trying to take him out. That is Boss Dog trying to put some shots on him. Desclada, though, still full HP. Flag is still in the field for the red team. Looks like is Stork going to be able to pick it up? No, Angry Pollock returns it just in time. Flag is capped. First point goes up on the board for the red team. So that is Projectile's team taking the first point here. First blood in the first casted game of midair. Take a look here at the red team's defense as they're going crazy. Implosions looks like in heavy trying to do some work here on all aunts going to get into that inventory station. They'll immediately go back up. Implosions going to die. It looks like for the time being, it's going to be pretty quiet over here on the red side of the map. Now let's go over to the blue side. We see Tarzel. He is in heavy. I don't think he's going to be running a cap ride. He's actually just running into the base, maybe trying to take out the generators that do exist in this game and control all the inventory stations. We do have a capper coming in right now for the, the red team. That is Sin. Sin is going to make it out with a good amount of health. Nice, nice railgun shot, though, coming in from behind. Going to take him down to nothing. Now we have Desclada again picking up this flag. Going to try and make it back to his base. He's going relatively fast. More railgun shots coming in, though. Taking him pretty low. He's going to actually risk a disc jump here. Going down to a sliver of HP. Going to toss that flag off all the way halfway through the map. But it looks like Mavi should have a return here for Team Dark Lord. And he does. Angry Pollock almost gets a kill in time. Not going to happen, though. See Sin, though, already starting up on his route here. Just relentless with these routes, trying to put Dark Team Dark Lord really on the back foot when it comes to defense. Right now, we do have some offensive clear coming in, but we do have a light on flag here. Sin coming in, throwing out those grenades. He actually gets hit there by the turret, and Stork is able to finish him off. Let's go over to the red side, see what's going on here. Looks like Meller now. But on some damage, you actually have quite a few people over here defending the base, it looks like. Right now is a smurf, maybe trying to get a load on Meller, going to go down to nothing. But we have Fettuccini now coming in, picking up that fl flag, trying to get home with it. Flag still at home for the blue team. We do have fire, though, chasing in hot pursuit, as well as projectile. A lot of chain gun fire now coming in, trying to take out Fettuccini. Fettuccini still sitting at relatively good health, half HP now. Desc or Tarzel actually coming in, trying to make something happen. Nice snipes coming in from behind. That was projectile getting the kill there on boss dog flag picked up there by sin sin is going to go down though and blue team looking to put their first point up on the board potentially tying the game looks like it's going to happen mavi actually takes a snipe he goes down shaky poo now he goes down nice midair there who the hell are you that was is a smart taking him out buying his team a lot of time right now now we have an e-grab coming in from angry Pollock. blue team missed their window unable to get the cap and now it's going to go into a standoff it looks like elixir holding the flag right now for the blue team he's still looking pretty healthy though we have Stork and Fire dueling over here. Fire desperately trying to stay alive. He's going to go down. The flag is dropped on the other side. Let's take a look at this blue flag, see if there's any crash coming in from the blue team. Looks like Nark is coming in, trying to make that return. Is a Smurf going to pick it up, though, for the red team? He goes high up in the air. This is chain gun territory, though. Is a Smurf going down slowly? Fettuccini trying to take him out. I'm just going to call him Fettuccini. That's what I'm used to calling him. But is a Smurf in a lot of trouble here. MA is coming in left and right. Projectile is going to make a nice pickup, though, and clean up some of the incoming blue players. And he is going to stay alive, so it's going to stay in a standoff mode. Let's go take a look at the other flag. Looks like this is Elixir. We're going to see a bit of a turtle situation here, it looks like. This space pretty decent for turtling. You can see you go down here. Where the, this is the gen room. So if you turtle in here, that's that's pretty hard to really come back from. But maybe these teams want to keep it somewhat exciting, so not going to go into that general. Let's take a look at Projectile just going into that inventory station, getting up to full health. We do have Nark coming in, trying to take him out. <laughs> Looks like, though, Nark is not going to be able to do too much damage to Projectile. Projectile, though, under a lot of pressure, we have Dark Lord, Fettuccini, and Nark. Nice shot there coming out from Projectile, doing a lot of damage to Fettuccini. Projectile now trying to stay alive. He's going to go down, and Dark Lord gets the return on the other side now. We will see Elixir here. try and make the cap, but a lot of potential e-grabs coming in here from the red team. That's Descalada. Going to be able to pick up the flag before Elixir can cap, and now is a Smurf doing a lot of damage to Elixir, but Elixir going to be able to take him out, and this should be the cap here for the blue team. Stork going to get that flag tossed off to him, and there it is. One to one is the score. 19 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the map. So these teams are going to reset here a bit. Let's follow Implosion see where he's going to go. Implosion's doing a little offensive play here for Dark Lord's team. Looks like right now he is in light. Here's something going on behind me. Sin actually picks up the flag for the red team, but he is going to go down. Let's go back over to the red team side. We see Aunt over here playing a little heavy on flag action. Represent 
uh, with a lot of turrets. These little turrets here, they are, uh, they're pretty brutal. Nice little inventory station places, a little deployable inventory station you can put out. Narc came in, but he actually got M8. It looked like he was just maybe making some room here for Meller who's coming in on that background. Not going to be successful, though. Aunt doing a great job there along with the rest of the LD backing him up. We have Elixir here now doing some damage to fire. Let's go take a look at the blue side of the map, see what's going on. Looks like we have Sin coming in for another route. This is Stork at a sliver of HP, unable to get as much damage as he wanted there on Sin. We got a lot of railgun shots now coming in from behind, trying to take Sin out. Sin very, very low. More railgun shots, unable to finish him off, though. Again, unable to finish him off. That is a projectile, so very, very hard to hit with that from a decent range. Sin now going to toss flag off. Nice pass over to fire. The red team's flag is still home, but Fettuccini coming in now to pick up that flag. He's going to get out with it as well. Nice MA there by projectile, though. Probably going to finish off Fettuccini, but it looks like the flag actually went back home for the blue team, so unfortunately I missed that, but projectile got a nice MA, but Narc is in the perfect position here for the blue team to try and keep this flag moving. He's high up in the air, going down pretty low HP. But it looks like he will be able to make it back to his base. The red team really needs to put someone on e-grab duty right now. Narc, though, might get a little too high there. He's actually going to get finished off there by projectile. Nice pickup, though, by Shanky Poo. Shanky Poo going to put the second point up on the board for the blue team. So nice teamwork there with the blue team. Narc doing some really good escort play. Getting the flag the rest of the way back home. Now we have Sin coming in for the red team. Stork is there. Sin, though, unable to pick up the flag on the other side. Looks like Mellor's made it out with the red team's flag. Let's take a look at him. He has Projectile trying to chase him down from the mid. Projectile not too healthy, though. Mellor is completely full health. I'll have to see if anyone for the red team is able to make an e-grab. We have Descalada as well as Sin over here still alive. Flag is still on the stand, though. Descalada not going to have enough energy to make it up there. A little too fat. And the score now going to be 3-1 to one, as blue team is doing a great job right now of running away with it. We have Mabel over here for the red team trying to put some offensive pressure on this flag stand. But Sin just killed out. So right now he's just being more of a nuisance than anything. Let's see who is that. That's Dark Lord with the railgun over here. And we do have Angry Pollock now actually coming in. He's going to take a lot of damage on that stand though. Going straight to Mavi. Got a bunch of railgun shots coming out trying to finish him off. He's only at a sliver. Will this chain gun be able to finish him off? That is the question. There's the out-of-bounds grid for you, folks. You can actually go outside of it here in midair. On the other side, though, the flag is already back home for the blue team. Angry Pollock under a lot of pressure. Just going to stay on him. See what happens. Boss Dog on the other side drops the flag, and Shanky Poo going to pick it up for the blue team. Red team now still trying to get control of the blue team's flag. Sin now going to pick it up for the red team. we got a lot of grenade fire coming in here. Who is that? That is Stork. Trying to put as much pressure as he can here on the Sin. Sin takes a shot there from Narc. Going to take him out. Sin just going to kill out. Now Angry Pollock picks it up, but he's not much better off for health. Implosions and Narc trying to do something. And Proj is, though, in a very decent position here to stay alive. And right now, Implosion's really the only person left. And he's just a sliver. He's also very fat, so going to be relatively easy to ground pound him. Trying to get that mortar off. Not going to happen. Let's take a look over at the blue side of the map. We have Shanky Poo here. And it looks like he is looking pretty as he is surrounded by a bunch of his teammates, but a lot of red players coming in right now. Four team prods trying to take him out. Sin Fire coming in from behind. Fire's going to get MA though by Stork. What a shot. And Shanky Poo. Jeez. Double. Oh, no. That was actually Stork finishing him off. So Stork with a double MA there. Very nice on the other side. Proj has died with the flag. Let's take a look at it. See if anyone's going to get the return here for the blue team. Meller almost gets it. Flag does go back home. And the Descalada is there immediately for the pickup. And Shanky Poo's not going to deal with Descalada. He's going to let the rest of his team take him out. Descalada doing an amazing job staying alive here, though. Flag is going to get returned now. We have Shanky Poo, who's not very healthy. Could get chained down here, potentially. If the chains can come in in time, not going to happen, though. Now 4-1 to one in favor of Team Dark Lord. It's in there getting MA'd by Mavi. What a shot. Angry Pollock also getting mid-air by Mavi. Man, Mavi is... Going insane right there with the this. So is Stork right now, the blue team. Uh, I'd say they're feeling it. They're they're really putting on a show for us. So let's take a look here on the red team as they try and get their offensive posture back. Sin now switching it up a bit. We've been seeing him come a lot from the left side of the map. Now he's going to the right. See what he can do. Let's see where Mabel's going now. He is still in fatty. Going to try and mortar the stand, try and clean it up a bit. Descalada also in fatty, so a lot of heavy offense coming out here 
from the red team. Very much favored, especially with that shield pack. It is pretty powerful. We do have Sin, though, coming in. Is anyone going to see him? That is the question. Sin coming in. He is going to get out with half HP on the other side, though. Flag is out for the blue team as well. Sin, though, should make it back home. Let's take a look and see how the blue team's carry is. Who are you? That is the question. This is Fettuccini. He gets out almost at Maze Prods there. Sin has dropped the flag on the other side. Hopefully someone for the red team is going to be able to pick it up. Boss Dog now has died on picked up the flag for the red team. Flag, though, for the blue team should be pretty much safe. Shanky Poo going to pick it up. He is at half HP under a lot of pressure, though, here pretty much immediately. Angry Pollock trying to take him out. Fire trying to take him out. Shanky Poo still somehow at half HP. We have grenade launcher shots all over him. He's in a very bad position. Descalada with a sliver of health able to get the return. Take a look over here now on the red side of the map. One to four here. Red really wants to put up that second point and get closer with 13 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the map. Time is really running out. On is unable to get out of this flags or this base right now. He's actually going to toss it off over to Angry Pollock. Is anyone for the blue team going to be able to make an e-grab? Does not look like it. There we go. Second point up on the board for the red team. They initially scored the first cap relatively quick. But now on the back end there of a two-point def deficit. Oh, you might see some flag pass in action here. Oh, no. Dark Lord misses the pass, though. He still should be able to pick it back up out of the field. Though Dark Lord, I was watching him from another pug, and this guy is pretty insane with his flag return and pickup ability. Dark Lord now going for another pass. Not going to happen, though. Fire still looking to put the finish. Oh, Dark Lord with a nice shot, though. Fire is going to go down, unable to get the return for now. And Meller now going to pick up with full HP, but he's surrounded by three red players. Going for the pass. Is it going to happen? Not going to happen. Fettuccini almost had it. Now, is a Smurf going for the return here for the red team? Is he going to be able to get it? He gets just away from it. Flag moving back and forth. Is a Smurf there? Gets the return, though. This is really killing the red team's offensive pressure here. They had a lot of people going for that return. And because of that, the flag has still stayed home for this entire time. We do have Descalade over here being dealt with by Implosions and Dark Lord. Implosions going to pull out the blaster, try and mitigate that shield damage. Descalade is still able to stay alive with a sliver, but he eventually goes down getting killed by Dark Lord. So now we have Mabel. Mabel looks like he's getting dealt with it as well. Yeah, red team right now just does not have the offensive pressure that they want. Sin is coming in off a route, but... It's not really going to be able to do much. Fettuccini now passing over Boss Dog. Take a look here at the flag stand. We have Azhoff, and he's going to be able to body block Narc. Nice little body block. We actually have double hop going on here between Nordsmark and On. We have quite a few cappers coming. That's Meller and Boss Dog. Meller is going to pick up the flag immediately go down, though. Let's take a look at the blue side. As the blue flag is out in the field, but it looks like it's in a pretty safe position as Angry Pollock was coming in on a route, but... Fortunately, flag's not there to grab, so we have Izzy Smurf now taking out Stork. Next is going to be Mavi on his list, but it looks like with Dark Lord... Oh, wow, nice shot there by uh, Izza, but Dark Lord going to go down, or um, Izza going to go down, sorry. Over here on the red side, Nark coming in, trying to pick up this flag out of the field. Not going to be able to do it, though. Implosions moving, trying to move this flag as well. Look at all of this defense, though. Right now, though, red team, they really they need to get something going on the offense. I believe Miller coming in. He's going to go down, but Fettuccini coming in behind all this distraction. Is he going to be able to go out? He is able to make it past the Hoff. Now we have Boss Dog moving with the flag, trying to get past Is a Smurf. Is a Smurf. Is he going to be able to do anything? That is the question. Descalada now trying to pick up that flag. They're going for the time return. They get it. Two to five now is the score in favor of Dark Lord. We do have Sin, though, coming in. Sin able to pick up the flag, makes it out with a lot of HP. And it doesn't look like anyone's going to be able to really chase him at this point. And there's no one for blue team in, able to make an e-grab. So this should be a cap. But Implosion's coming in from behind. On taking a direct mortar shot there. Actually shoves him off of the flag stand. Angry guy now has died with the blue flag. Implosion's coming in. Looks like he's just maybe distracting for someone that might be coming in behind me. Not quite sure. There's Meller, but I don't see any... We're, I don't see Fettuccini, nor do I see Narc for the blue team right now. So I guess Implosion just opted to not grab that flag due to maybe not being the best of situations for him to grab it. Now I have Elixir and Fire going at it here. Elixir in that heavy suit. Fire trying to take him out. You can see these little things that they're throwing. Those are the grenades in the game. Fire going to come out on top. Is a Smurf now moving as well. So we see over here on the blue side of the map... 
Team Projectile is trying to clear this flag stand of everything. They have three heavies mortaring it right now. Looks like the flag, though, has been picked up again by the blue team. Here comes Sin, though. Sin going to be able to make it out completely clean. Angry Polak actually distracting him there. Unfortunately, Sin, though, does lose quite a bit of his speed. Lock on the, to the red flag here. Boss Dog trying to get the flag pass there to one of his heavies, but not going to be able to do it. Let's take a look now at Sin. Sin. Still looking pretty healthy. Mavi, though, coming in. Is he going to be able to do anything about it? He's looking for maybe some more damage with the disc. He gets Sin down to a sliver. Sin goes down. Flag drops down into the ravine. Now we're looking to see if Angry Guy can pick it up. He does. Meller, though, is still there. Meller, with not a lot of HP, he's going to go down as well. And it looks like Red Team going to be able to clean up there. So now Proj holding it for his team. And Mel Narc over here under a lot of pressure. And a lot of chain gun fire is actually rabbiting right now, which I'm not too sure if that's the best way, but I guess they're all fatties, so he's going to be able to run away from them at least. We have fire also putting some chain gun damage into Narc right now. Narc just rabbiting his way around. The almost gets unmade there by Angry Pollock. Now he's really feeling the pain. He's going to go down here in a second. I'd imagine there he goes. Is a smurf actually should have a pretty easy return here. On the other side, projectile though has gone down. Nordsmark picks it up. Nordsmark under a lot of pressure. He goes down. Sin trying to pick up the flag. Sin goes down. Now we have Mabel trying to pick up the flag. Not going to happen. The flag gets returned there by Meller. And of course, on the other side, the red flag did go home as well. So. Now we have Aunt back onto the flag stand. Fire. Looks like Mabel. Mabel's switching it up now. Maybe not going fatty. I'm not quite sure. He is still in that light armor we have narc now coming in trying to pick up the flag he's actually going to get out with completely full hp not quite sure how that happened but narc now trying to move the flag he's actually going to opt to disc jump here more disc jumps coming in as well trying to pass that flag off not going to happen though projectile now should get the return here for team red and sin now picks up the flag for team red and they're looking to put their fourth point up on the board being down three to five right now they could really use it sin under a lot of pressure he goes down very low Sin, though, trying to get back home. The flag has been picked up, though. Let's take a look at who picked that up. This is Fettuccini now moving with the flag. He's at about half HP. A lot of chain gun fire coming in, trying to take him out. We have Angry Guy, Mash, uh, Mabel, Mash, <laughs> Mabel, pick, trying to take him out. Not going to happen, though. But the blue team's flag does get returned now. Mabel trying to take out Fettuccini, who is full HP. Descalada and Mabel trying to do their best to get this flag off the sand. Oh, Mortar comes in right behind Mello, who's just picked it up. He goes down low. The flag now has been dropped by Descalada. Looks like Blue Team just going to opt to return it, but Red Team has plenty of time to get an E-grab if they have any crash. It doesn't look like they do, though. That's going to be the six point up on the board for the Blue Team. So we see here Stork. Stork actually going to get taken out as Sin comes in, just solo clearing. And he's going to be able to get out clean, not with the most of speed. Some disfire coming in behind him, trying to take him out. Not quite working, though. Narc there trying to get the shot on him. Is he going to be able to land anything? Narc just going for the MAs. He says, screw the chain gun. Sin, though, still out with quite a bit of HP. Let's take a look now at the red side as we have Meller coming in, trying to grab this flag. Is anyone going to be able to make the E-grab? Yes, Fettuccini comes in, gets the E-grab there for the blue team. Sin now feeling the heat as Mavi and Stork right behind him. Stork, though, going to get taken out by someone not quite sure who but he goes down quick flag it looks like i missed a little flag passing action as elixir now has a flag but meller some oh my god somehow meller comes in all by his lonesome and gets the return something right now the red team did not want to happen they need points only five minutes remaining in the map we have elixir now moving with this flag he's gonna try and toss it off there to narc not gonna happen the flag goes way too high in the air Licks are now going to go down and fire. Going to get that return for the red team. Three to six. Red team needs to pack on three points here. If they want to at least tie this game. I don't think there's any OT yet. So we have Sin now coming in. Trying to pick up the flag. He's actually just maybe going to clear here for uh, Polak maybe. I don't see Angry Polak coming in from anywhere. But a lot of destruction going on to this flag stand right now. Just no cappers unfortunately. Let's take a look now on the red side of the map. We do have Implosions. He's coming in for a back route. Let's see if there's double Hoff team. Oh, no, Implosions 
Not sure if he meant to do that or not, but it looks like he's just going to go take out the generators. So over here on the red side, it is pretty quiet. We have Elixir now crashing from the front. Looks like Angry Polak has picked up the flag. Fettuccini was actually going for the, the red flag, but he gets body blocked. Let's take a look at the blue flag, see how it is doing. We have Sin over here trying to get these points up as quickly as possible for his team. They're trailing by three right now, but Sin just has no speed. And Stork and Dark Lord looking to finish him off. Now Sin going to pass off to Mabel, but that gives Dark Lord the ability to shoot that flag away. Mabel now picks up the flag for the red team. And Mabel, he is looking pretty healthy, but he's really fat. So I guess he's not looking that healthy. So Mabel now dueling off with Mavi. And of course, during all this time, Blue Team has made it out with the red flag and already back to their base. So we have now Mabel moving with absolutely no HP. Desperately needs some help. Descalada moving in, in heavy. But we do have Fettuccini now trying to take out Mabel. Mabel going to toss it off to the other side of the hill. Nice little MA there coming out from Sin. Flag though still in the... Oh, Dark Lord with a nice return there. And it looks like maybe this will be the nail in the coffin for a red team if blue team is able to get this cap. We have Descalada, but he is in heavy, so he's not going to be moving anywhere fast. He's going to try and lob some mortars. It's not going to happen, though. 7-3 to three now is the score. The cap out for this game right now is 8. So one more cap for the blue team, and Dark Lord's team is going to take it. We have Mabel now moving in. Is trying to do anything. Is Sin there? Is Sin. Sin is coming in. Narc has picked up the flag and immediately dropped the flag, though, for the blue team. Now, here comes Sin. Sin, though, takes a lot of damage, though, coming in from, I believe that was Stork. And Sin now making his way back home. But I think it's a little too late for red team to make a comeback. We have Meller. Implosions chasing Sin, Sin down. We have some laser shots coming in from behind. I mean, red team looks like they. Oh! Oh, are they going to be able to do it? Sin, there he goes. Sin now getting the cap for the red team. Four to seven, but only two minutes and nine seconds remaining. Projectile putting some railgun shots there on the Meller. And his buddy Fire is just going to come in and finish him off. Let's take a look at the blue side of the map. Descalado over here putting some damage into Elixir. Don't see anyone coming in, though, right now for the red team. Dark Lord now has picked up the blue flag, but he has no health. Looking for maybe a pass off here, but he is going to go down too soon. We'll have to see who is it. There's someone way up there in the air. That is Shanky Poo. We'll to see if Shanky Poo is able to pick it up out of the field here. He's actually shooting this kind of giving his position away. He is going to go down, but everyone's going to know he's coming. Just going to shoot that flag away. On the other side now, Sin has picked up the flag for the red team. He's immediately going to go down. Mabel, though, trying to do his best to keep this flag moving. He's at about a quarter HP right now. He is going to be able to pick it up. Meller, though, going to be chasing him down. Gets the finishing blow there on Mabel, and Meller should have an easy return here for the blue team. And with one minute and eight seconds remaining, this is pretty much all she wrote here for the red team. The blue team, Dark Lord, going to be able to take it here. But, yeah, we have Proj now over here. Just cleaning up, and I think the red team's going to go through and try and figure out what they can do. Now Sin has a flag here for the red team. Out with no HP, though. Mavi looking to finish him off. Flag now is tossed over to no one. But the red team's flag is out. This is Stork. Stork going to pick it up. He's going to go down, though. Flag dropped into the middle of the field. Dark Lord trying to keep it alive, looking maybe to put the cap out up, but not going to happen. Fire going to return that flag. But yeah, right now, I mean, Red Team, they came out strong. I think they just need to put a little more emphasis onto the offense. Maybe not running so many heavy offense, maybe a little more light offense. Uh, heavy clear not really doing too much, especially since they're running Stork as light on flag there for a while. So final score, 4-7. to seven. In favor of Team Dark Lord. And there I am on Team Dark Lord. So I guess technically I won as well. Of course, this is midair, so everyone has won. So that was Icewind, which is our first base map. Next map is going to be Verdant. So they're going to be switching over to that shortly. This right here is Menorah. This is going to be the third map we're going to see. This is an LT map, so you'll be able to go through and... 
just spawn in your loadout as a light. So yeah. So good times there. Questions being asked, is it verdant? And it is verdant. Now verdant, for any of you guys out there that uh, play Tribes 2, it is uh, very close to what, what is the name of that map? I'm trying to think right now. Cannot remember at the moment. Uh... So, so I see in the chat, sorry, I can't really read the chat while I'm casting, but uh, I'll, I'll try more third person. That's what you guys want. No problem. Still getting a little used to the observer controls. So, but either way, I'll try a little more first person while the cappers are there. Maybe a little more third person. So, uh, what I was, I, uh, before I got caught up in that thought, what the hell is the name of the map? <laughs> uh, it's not coming to me, guys. You guys probably know. Thank you, Wilder Zone. That's what it is. So yeah, very close uh, to Wilder Zone. So yeah, it's seriously always... But yeah, either way. So hopefully this map will get changed pretty soon. Take a look at Mavi's point of view. Alright guys. So while everyone's going through and getting themselves situated in the game, let's uh, again go back to the midair Kickstarter. Of course, uh, Archetype Studios developing this game, going through already 461 backers of $40,957. That is so amazing. So thank you to everyone out there that has been pledging their money to make this game come out maybe a little bit sooner. A lot of awesome perks as well coming out depending on how much you're able to donate, including, I believe it's 175 tier for instant access after the Kickstarter has completed. So, take a look in game again. Looks like we're still waiting on the games to get situated. All right, so, see if I can read the chat here for a little. So we're going to try and get, we'll get a little uh, funky with the camera work. See how that works out. And again, Verdant, uh, Wilder Zone, thank you very much to whoever said that. Let's see if I can give you a shout out. Your name is like Blue. Void Spawn. <laughs> thank you. It's all blue. I can't read it unless I look really close. My eyes aren't what they used to be. But yeah, so if you are out there watching these games, intrigued whatsoever, go check out playmidair.com in the top left hand or in the top right hand corner, you'll see a big green button that says support our Kickstarter. Click on that. You'll get to this page that I'm at right now and you'll be able to back this project and you'll be able to look at uh, various comments. Uh, they'll have the schedule as well up for everything that is going to be happening with this 48 hours of midair. And there's the schedule right there for the rest of the day. So after this is done, you're going to get to see some gameplay Q&A with Chris. So Chris, a.k.a. Bug Spray, um, he's going to go through and answer questions that you have that he's able to answer. And from uh, 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern time, you'll get to see some level design with Stealth RG, a.k.a. Davey. So Dark Lord saying they're ready. Gonna go through and go back to my beautiful face so you can barely see because I'm just not. My posture is all crap right now. I'm just chilling. Yeah, it's Dark Lord saying he's ready. We'll see if the rest of the guys are ready. You see, we still have pretty big team sizes here right now. Everyone just shooting at each other. Take a look at Mavi. Going for those MAs. So. Oh, he died. Rip Mavi. There's an MA. Got an MA counter going on here. 
Another enemy, that's two. Three. This guy's a beast. Four. Jeez. Five. Abby's going off. He's showing off. Projectile asking to give them one minute. So Team Projectile going to go through and collect their thoughts. See what they can do to improve on this next game. Jeez, Mavi is just going crazy right now with the midairs. <laughs> no one should be getting five MAs. I call hacks. <laughs> Oh, it looks like Reticle's actually going to get in here, so that should be fun. Reticle, a.k.a. Corey, going to be getting in here on the action. So if he's playing for Projectile, then that'll, that'll definitely help out their team. Oh, my God. That MA. But yeah, guys, so, of course, this stream is pretty much all because of Archetype Studios and the midair game. They're starting off their Kickstarter yesterday. I think they're able to get something like 37% within the first 24 hours asking uh, for, a, for a support of $100,000. And it's just amazing the amount of support that people have shown so far. So hopefully hopefully I can do a little bit better job. There, I will also be casting tomorrow and I will have Winters with a 1 along with me for the ride. And we'll be at the same time tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern to, what is it? 10 p.m. Eastern or 11 mass those are hard but yeah it should be a uh, five to five to eight my time so yeah it'll be eight to 11 Eastern time but yeah so that'll be fun having winters having someone to go back and forth winters is uh, much more intelligent than me so he'll be able to say a lot of smart things that I am unable to say Gonna open up a little drinky poo here. All right, one thing also to keep in mind, guys, right now, uh, within the reason why I haven't really been clicking on anybody too much is because within the observer mode, I like here I'm looking at sin. It doesn't send me to sin. There's no uh, lock on quite yet. Obviously, this is still very pre-alpha, so a lot of things need still need to. Uh, come out and uh, be worked on a little bit but so yeah it makes it kind of difficult unless the person is holding the flag then it's uh, pretty easy because I just click my nice little flag bind that's been implemented so yeah definitely gonna try and work on that for you guys go take a look again at Mavi so uh, and now Corey aka reticle is in the game so, I think he, yeah, he had to download the, the patch that came out. So, looks like he's all ready. And we're going to go into it, guys. Going into the second map, this is going to be Verdant. Right, I'll go give him a little casual sup. Call him Nark Narky. Yeah, guys, so Verdant, again, it's very similar to Wilder Zone if any of you guys played Tribes 2 out there. Let me get into spectate mode. I don't want to die. There we go. So, yeah, you can see here we have nice big base with uh, three levels. Go in here, see two inventory stations. Go down to the generator room. You got more inventory stations as well as the generator. And we go up to the third floor. I have a turret, a turret, a turret standing right here. And this little red thing right here, that's actually a repair pack. So if your generator is dead and you have no means to get into an inventory station, you press G and you pick up that repair pack and go repair to your heart's content. So this game has started. Let's get a read down other rosters here. 
On Team Red, we have Angry Polak, Reticle, Aunt, Proj, Tarzel, Fire, Is a Smurf, Descalada, Sin, and Nordsmark. And over on Team Blue, we have JP, Stork, Mavi, Dark Lord, Narc, Mabel, Boss Dog, Meller, Implosion, Shanky Poo, and Black. They're playing it with a one man advantage. What's going on here? Either way, I'm sure that'll get sorted out. Let's take a look here. This is Mavi. Looks like he's actually going to be running with the railgun, chain gun, and disc launcher. Pretty standard light defense loadout. And yes, uh, obviously that <laughs> that repair pack is just a placeholder right now. So we have Sidna who gets out with it, actually gets by Mavi, and I think he might be able to go all the way home with this as we look and see what he's looking at. He just caps that flag one to nothing already. This is what happened with the red team last time, though. They came out real fast and hard, and they got that flag out real quick, but they uh, kind of lost steam pretty quickly afterwards. Now JP coming in with an answer crap, it looks like, but the flag is not home right now for him. So he's going to have to go through and maybe pass this flag off over to Implosions. Right now, though, Projectile looking to get the return. He's unable to get it, though. Stork picks up, but Stork has no HP. Angry guy now coming in, trying to get the return. He goes down, though. Sin looking for the return for the red team. He goes down as well. Everyone for the red team is going down, and it looks like the blue team's flag even return now. So the blue team going to be able to... Oh, Implosions just way too fat. He, he definitely needs to pass it off to a light. He's going to pass that off over to JP, but this is buying Red Team a lot of time. Angry Pollock, though, unable to do anything with it. This is Smurf now coming in for the Red Team. Not able to pick up that flag, though. Sin, though, coming in right behind to see if he's able to make it out. He actually M.A. Stork, but unfortunately misses the flag. Very unfortunate there for Sin. That was such a nice clear for himself. So we'll take a look now. This is Mavi using that. Hit scan, or not hit scan, that projectile based uh, railgun. Nark now has taken the red flag. He is out with a lot of speed as well. He has a lot of chase. Mortar coming in, trying to take him now. Not going to happen though. Fire now up in the air. And Nark is going to go down. The flag now should be safe here for the red team. And it is. Flag just going to get returned there by fire. See over here, Stork and Implosion. We have little. Light on flag action along with heavy on flag action. Pretty crazy. We have Descalada maybe trying to clear a wave here for Sin. Sin coming in. Angry Pollock actually going to be the one to pick up this flag. I'm going to go through and see what he's looking at here. Unfortunately, it's not letting me go in the first person mode. Either way, we have a chase here coming in from Mavi. Mavi trying to take out Angry Guy. He's going to be able to do so. Nice mid-air pickup though. Holy crap, that was amazing. Sin gets a mid-air pickup and finishes off with a mid-air on Mavi. Very nice play though. Their flag, though, is returned, and red team gets up on the board 2-1 to one now. So really able to leverage that momentum that they got there from the beginning of the game. But yeah, that was just insane. Sin picks up the flag out of midair and then MAs Mavi right in the face, all while we were watching it from Mavi's point of view. We have Descalada now going through, picking up the flag, but the flag is immediately going to be returned by Stork over on Dark Lord's team. We have Implosions under a lot of pressure. Sin unable to grab the flag, though. Looks like, is anyone else coming in for the flag grab? It doesn't look like it. Let's go take a look over on the red side of things. We do have Boss Dog coming in, trying to pick up that flag. Not going to happen. Now Black comes in as well. Not going to happen either. And just uh, for good measure, the teams are even out now. Now we have Nark coming in, and he's not going to get out either. Oh, my goodness. So much action going on over here on the red team's base. Black is going to go through, get finished off. Flag is now going to be picked up by JP, so JP able to make it out with it. Fire in hot pursuit, trying to take him out. JP going to go down to a sliver and die. Projectile coming in, trying to get that mid-air return. Not going to happen, though. Projectile, though, eventually gets that return. Let's take a look over on the blue side of the map. We have Sin over here just trying to take out some deployable turrets. Oh, actually, my bad. Angry Polak is actually out with the flag here at a pretty good amount of HP as well. Black trying to take him out. It looks like it's not going to happen. Oh, no, Angry die. He did die, so Black not going to get captain. Nice E-grab coming out here from Narc. Let's take a look at Reticle's point of view. Trying to get some snipes on Narc. Not going to happen, though. Go over here now to Fettuccini. Fettuccini going through, trying to take out Nordsmark. Is he going to be able to do it? Does Nordsmark, I think, just has way too much health, and he's in a little light, so not going to be able to happen. Take a look now at Narc, who is currently holding the red flag. He's going to pick it up, immediately go down. The flag was returned, though, by the blue team. Now Projectile, though, looking to return the flag for his team, and there it goes back to the flag stand. 20 minutes remaining, 2-1 to one right now, currently in favor of Team Proj. So we see here now Sin setting up on a route here, trying to take that blue team's flag. Let's see if Descalada, looks like we have a few 
players over here trying to clear away here for Sin as he comes in. Descalada doing a lot of distraction, bringing out the attention of Dark Lord. Sin now coming in. He is seen, though. He's going to MA Stork, but he actually gets body blocked in return in MA. So Sin not, is now just opting to clear here for Angry Pollock, who's coming in for the flag grab. Is he going to be able to get out? Mavi actually going to go down an Angry Guy. Going to get out with it for now. Turret trying to take him out. Not going to happen, though. He has a lot of chase on the other side. Fettuccini has made it back to his base with the red flag. Angry Guy now going to go down. Looks like Reticle trying to come out and do make out some support here, but not going to happen. Mavi going to get the return. Now we see Boss Dog. He looks like he was set up for a little turtle. But Tarzel right on top of him. Tarzel going to be able to take him out. Doesn't get the return, but he does take out Shaky Boo. He's trying desperately to get this flag, but unable to get the return somehow. Dark Lord now picks up. He tosses out. Is a Smurf. Picks up the flag for the red team. Now Shaky Poo going to pick up the flag for the blue team. He goes down immediately to half health. Angry Pollock trying to take him out with some hand grenades. Not going to happen, though. See, now we have Corey over here, or uh, Reticle, sorry, trying to take out the flag carry not going to happen. Now we're going to go see what Mavi is looking at. Mavi is at full HP here, looking maybe to take out uh, Chase Down Sin. Not going to happen. This is got fire now. Secretly trying to get to Shanky Poo, but Shanky Poo is at full HP. Let's take a look at Sin. Sin is at full HP as well. And it looks like he does have some chase on him. Come from Stork as well as someone else. Is that that is Dark Lord right behind him? And then Fettuccine. They have so much blue over here. Shanky Poo, though, has died with the red flag. Red flag now out in the field. Sin has dropped the flag now. And the flag now picked up by Stork. Jesus, so much craziness going on. Stork now takes the red flag. And the blue flag also, <coughs> excuse me, still in the hands of the red team. Implosions now picks up. Implosions, though, under a lot of pressure. Tarzul now trying to get the return. He goes down to a sliver, though. Let's take a look. And the blue team's flag is finally returned. But now we have Descalada trying to return the flag. Fire is actually going to get it. Score is going to stay tied 2-1. to one. Holy moly. Man. Okay. So uh, now that I have a little time to read, let's see Sin now coming in. We have Stork as well. He's just going to kill out as Sin has gone through and not made it to the flag. Descalada putting on some mortar spam onto the flag stand. Takes out Mavi. It's like over here now. This is Fire's point of view playing some chase defense for uh, the blue team. Or is it the red team? The red team. Sorry. See Black now coming over here. Narc not going to be able to grab the flag. Who is coming in, though? It looks like Meller now. He's actually going to dis jump. Maybe he's just clearing, though, for Fettuccini. So many cappers coming in right now for the blue team. Ant going to get uh, hit off that flag stand. And Fettuccini actually going to make it out with full HP. No chasers really inside. Let's take a look over here at Angry Guy. Angry Guy trying to get some shots on the Black. Not going to happen for now, but Angry Guy is out with a lot of health. And he's made it all the way back to his base. Now we see here we have Dark Lord trying to get the flag return. Boss Dog has died on the other side. Tarzul going to make the return there for the red team. Red team looking to put their third point up on the board. We have JP now coming in. Picks up that flag. He gets MA'd from behind, though. Or at least some kind of damage. Now he's being chased. Let's take a look. Who is this? This is Projectile trying to take out JP, who's at a quarter HP. Looks like, though, right now JP going to be pretty fine. Nordsmark. Is he expecting a return? I'm not sure, but no way that return's coming anytime soon. He's just sitting there on the flag stand. Boss Dog, though, coming in. He hits Nordsmark once with an MA. Nordsmark now very, very low. On the other side, the flag is in the field. And Nordsmark has dropped the flag. Is anyone going to get the return? Doesn't look like it, but on the other side, Projectile is now taking the flag for the blue team, and red team has actually returned it so much, and I'm trapped inside a base. Hold on a second. Here we go. Nark now out with the flag, trying to get back to his base. He's actually using a shield pack, so you can see there he's able to dis jump and not take any damage from his own dis jump. On the other side now, Proj has dropped the flag. Mavi coming in for the return, unable to get it. Nordsmark takes him out at the last second, but JP, JP actually gets butt blocked there by Reticle. But now we have Nordsmark going down to Sliver of HP. He's going to go down, looking for the return here from Fettuccini, and he's going to get it. Flag goes back home, and it looks like both flags are secure for the moment as fire. I'm going to be looking after the red flag here. In the outside, Descalada now actually coming in with a heavy grab. He's going at a pretty decent speed as well. Descalada, about a quarter HP, but that isn't heavy, so there's quite a lot of damage to go through with the chain gun. Descalada looking to toss his flag off, it looks like. Flag is going to get tossed off over to Angry Pollock, but Angry Pollock is greeted with a disc immediately to his face as he picks it up, and Dark Lord gets a return there for the blue team. Both flags now... Safely back at home. 
Black looks like just trying to be a nuisance over here for the blue team. We have Miller coming in. Is Miller going to grab it? He actually is not. He's going to allow Fettuccini to just grab it. And on the other side, Sin is out now for Team Projectile, and he's going all the way back home as well. So Flag's getting him out left and right here. Let's take a look at Fire's first-person view. He has, like, no HP right now, though. On the other side now, on is has a flag for the red team. Taking a look at Mavi going through, trying to return the flag here for his team. Putting a lot of damage in on. On obviously didn't quite see him there. But either way, on now drops the flag. Blue team all over. Dark Lord trying to get the return. It looks like he actually is able to get the return there for the blue team. Now we're over here on the red team side of the map. We do have, or the blue team side of the map, we have Angry Guy, aka Angry Pollock, going through. Oh, it looks like I missed a return over there, too. Jesus. Just going by so quick. <laughs> My apologies, guys. That's been a while since I casted, but I guess that's really no excuse. It's just uh, so fast-paced in comparison to what I'm used to. But either way, over here on the red side of the map, looks like we do have some red action going on, though. I'm going to take a look. This is Fire. I'm going to go over to Proj. Check out Reticle playing some light on flag. Dark Lord going to be able to get a nice railgun shot there on Sin as he comes in. But Angry Guy going to pick it up. Dark Lord isn't going to be able to. Again, this is a. Oh, and he gets it. A little double railgun action coming out there between Dark Lord and Mavi. But is a Smurf, though. Going to come in here, try and pick up this flag, but the flag is knocked away by Stork. Now, is a Smurf returning with a little knockaway shot as well, trying to keep this flag alive in the field. But now it looks like Boss Dog is out with the red team's flag. He does not have a lot of HP, though. Is anyone going to be able to finish him off with a chain? It doesn't look like it. He has enough energy. 2-2 two to two now is a score, tying up the game with 13 minutes and 3 seconds remaining. So now we have Tarzul picking up the flag here for the red team in a fatty suit. Going through it. He's taking a lot of damage, though. He's still alive. Dark Lord unable to hit it with that disc. There's a the disc. This is a smurf now coming in, trying to move the flag. But Dark Lord going to get the return. The flag goes back home now, 2-2. Two is the score. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. We have blue team trying to make some distraction here for JP who's coming in. JP not going to be able to grab the flag though. On the other side, angry guy has picked up the flag here for the red team. At full HP as well, looking to put the third cap up on the board. Dark Lord, JP all over here trying to do something. Are they going to be able to do it? Doesn't look like it. Angry guy going to be able to get the cap, but Fettuccini might be able to come in behind all of this Distraction. He's actually going to get MA'd there by Aunt, it looks like, and immediately go down. Reticle getting the finishing blow there. Flag going to go back home for the red team. Meller, though, is he just going to llama? It looks like he is. Meller now trying to move this red team flag maybe to the midfield. There is no punting at this game like there is in Tribe Descend, but the flag does go pretty far. Now Dark Lord is going to be able to grab it out of the air. It doesn't look like it. Projectile actually almost comes in with the midair return. Dark Lord now going through trying to get the pickup, but... Projectile going to be able to shoot that flag towards himself. Let's see what we got going on over here. This is Dark Lord again doing the defense for his own team, the blue team. Deciding who to snipe there. But looks like we do have the flag getting out. This is Fettuccini out with about half HP. Projectile, though, right on top of him. Bossa going to toss that flag off, try and get it over to Meller. But Meller not going to be able to make the midair pickup. We have Fire and Descalada all over here trying to pick return their flag back home. Dark Lord does pick it up, but the flag does get out. Angry Pollock gets out with it for the red team. Descalada going to be able to get the return there. Red team looking to put fourth cap up on the board. Extender lead by two, but JP not going to let that happen. JP actually going to go through and get uh, killed there. Now Angry Guy trying to toss the flag up. Not enough juice on it, though. Flag is not going to be able to go in up to the flag stand but luckily for red team incoming blue player was taken out I'm gonna stay over here on the red team side looks like we have a lot of action coming in here narc coming in for a front grab trying to clear out on and he is going to be able to do just that narc now with a lot of hp has is using that shield pack as well so he's going to be able to dis jump here without too much damage to himself proj though right behind him is Proj going to be able to do anything here? Looks like Proj just looking for the snipe shots. None of them going to be able to connect, though. Let's take a look at the other side of the map. Is a Smurf now picks up the flag for the red team. Just a bit of an e-grab here. Nark going down very low. Reticle actually gets a lot of damage done to him there. Nark going to toss that flag off now over to Mavi. Mavi, though, not much better off with health. Stork now looking to pick up the flag. The flag now is in the field, but it is picked up on the other side. So 
Both flags now not at home. Picked up now. Holy moly. Dark Lord now going to pick up the flag here for the blue team. Passing it off over to Stork. Stork going to pick it up now. Some grenade fire coming in from the... His over his head, though, from Angry Pollock. Now we have Stork looking to go through and keep this flag alive. Projectile going to go down. Let's take a look at Reticle currently holding the flag for the red team. Not much pressure going on over here. Looks like Narc is just coming in by himself. JP on the other side as well. JP actually got a little damage done there to him. So we'll take a look and see. We have Dark Lord over here. So look at Mavi. Mavi looking pretty good as far as uh, health goes. Let's take a look at Reticle now. Reticle under a lot of pressure. Flag is going to get dropped there. Projectile picks it up out of the air. Looking to keep it alive over here. Dark Lord with a sliver of HP. Should get chained down here. Projectile, oh my goodness, on actually getting a nice MA there onto Boss Dog. Projectile with a lot of hand grenades coming in on him. Going to take him down pretty low. He's now tossing that flag off, trying to give it to someone with a little more health. Reticle now has a flag here for the red team. Let's take a look at the, the red team flag actually just gets returned by Tarzul. But we do have an E-Grab coming in. That is Narc perfectly timed E-Grab as he was coming in the crash. And he is going to get out with it. Corey now under some pressure from Meller. We have Projectile now over here getting the flag toss off to him. Let's take a look at Narc. Narc pretty worn down, but he does have some escort coming out to meet him. We have Fire, though, trying to chase him down on the other side. Nordsmark has picked up the flag for the red team. Dark Lord now going to pick up the flag for the blue team. He's actually going to dis jump here. Toss it off over to Narc. Narc, though, unable to get the height. Let's take a look over at Reticle currently. Actually, let's stay over here as a lot of red players are crashing, trying to get their flag back on the other side. Sin now has a flag for the red team. Narc desperately trying to stay alive. He's going to toss that flag off. Projectile now has the flag on the other side. Implosions picks it up for the blue team. We have Angry Guy trying to do something, but it looks like he should get cleaned up there. We have a lot of red players over here on the red side of the map trying to make sure Projectile stays alive for the time being. Black coming in all by his lonesome, though. Not quite sure what he's going to be doing from up here. Maybe just trying to get behind. Reticle, though, does see him. And do we have a bit of a turtle situation coming out here from the blue team? Plosions setting up some turrets around this area. Making sure that he's going to get a nice warning whenever someone walks down that aisle. Although I'm sure people are going to be able to see him. Oh, we have Mavi over here trying to get the return for the blue team. But Sin is going to pick it up before it's able to get returned. Fettuccini, though, he's still alive over here as well. Trying to get that return. We have Sin at half HP. I have someone up there. That's Meller trying to finish him off. On the other side, the flag is in the field for the red team. Narc, very, very worn down. Going to pass that flag off to Mavi. Mavi now going to pick it up. Proj on the other side for the red team has picked it up. And we're still in standoff mode here with 6 minutes and 52 seconds right now, though. This is only really giving an advantage to the red team. The longer this goes on, less and less time blue team has to put up two more points up on the board to at least tie it. So Stork now getting the flag tossed off to him, holding it for the blue team. Now we're over here looking at Projectile. Looks like Fettuccini just waiting for his team to get in position. We have JP who's way up in the air right now. Not quite sure what his plan is here. There's no conks in this game. By the way, it looks like the turret is back up here now for the red team. Going to be able to offer a little bit more defense capabilities here. We have Proj though. He goes down to half HP, but it looks like most of the offensive pressure has been cleaned up. We do have Dark Lord though coming in from behind. He's going to be able to take out Proj. Now Reticle... Goes for the pickup. The flag gets tossed away from him, though. Now here comes Black. Black, though, should go down. Let's take a look on the other side. Stork now holding the flag for the blue team. Looks like he's all nice and dandy over here. Take a look on the other side. Now we have a fatty Nordsmark using that shield pack. I think these guys have probably, <coughs> excuse me, gone through and opted to shy away from the turtle strategy. We have some grenade launcher shots coming in from Dark Lord. Dark Lord arriving to the party a little bit early. JP coming in right on time. Black as well. Nordsmark under a ton of pressure. He's looking for the pa pass off over to Proj. Looks like Dark Lord going to get that return for the blue team. This is what the blue team needs. We need to put a few more points up on the board. Now Narc picks it up. Descalada trying to do something. Narc, though, looks like he's very low on energy. Angry Pollock coming in, trying to get that return. Narc does go down, and Tarzul ends up being the one to get the E-grab here for 
And the red team implosions now picks it up for the blue team. He's in fatty though. He's under a lot of pressure. Reticle fire as well as projectile trying to take him out. Flag is going to get returned though by fire. Nice return. And Tarzul is now out with the flag. Tarzul at about quarter HP. Looks like he's going to be able to get all the way back home though. This is going to be a very difficult deficit to come back from for the blue team. Being five to two, need three caps within four and a half minutes. So it's going to take a while. So now we look over here at the blue. So it looks like Angry Pollock just missing a flag grab there. This is Smurf maybe looking to clear a hole, maybe for Sin. Don't see Sin coming in from anywhere. Let's take a look at the red side of the map. Three players on Sin right now. We have double. Hoff along with the light on flag. So we have Bostock coming in. He's just going to melt, but he does somehow sneak the flag by him. But now the red team's just going to be able to keep that flag out in the field. Sin has picked up the flag now for the red team. Let's take a look at Nark. Nark going to force that return, and it's immediately going to be picked up by Meller. Perfect timing there. Great play coming out from the blue team. Nark able to force that return, so Meller could get out with it. The flag now. It was in Sin's hands, and Sin has died. Let's take a look over here. Projectile holding the flag for the red team. He is in a lot of trouble, though. Looks like Mavi trying to get the return for the blue team. Blue team going to get it, but red team did get the return as well. But Fettuccini now makes it out with the flag. Doesn't have too much chase on him right now. Looks like Fire trying to catch up with him. Let's see if we can look at Fire's point of view. This is Fire trying to chase down... Fettuccini going for some chain gun fire. He is also carrying that railgun. Fettuccini taking a lot of damage. Is a smurf. Makes the e-grab there, though, for the red team. And the flag does get returned by the red team. So, I don't know. I don't I don't know if blue team can do it. It's three minutes left. Five to two in favor of the red team. Definitely a different game than what we saw last game where the blue team kind of just ran away with it, winning seven to three. So, we see over here Sin... Not really going to be able to do much, it looks like. JP, though, now has picked up the flag here for the blue team. Looking to put maybe one point up on the board. Is anyone in position to make an e-grab? The flag is returned there by the blue team, and JP going to be able to get the cap. 5-3 to three now is a score. 2 minutes and 30 seconds for the blue team to get two caps to tie it up. Of course, during that time, the red team can get a cap as well and make it that much harder. Meller now. Looking to put another point up on the board here for the blue team. He's about half HP. Reticle and Prods chasing him down. He's going to toss that flag off. Is anyone there to receive it for the blue team? We have implosions out coming in trying to pick it up out of the air. Not going to happen, though. Now Meller picks up the flag for the blue team. A lot of action going on here. Tarzul sitting on the blue team's flag stand in heavy. Going to be able to get that E-grab. Now Meller drops the flag off, trying to pass it over to Dark Lord, who has a lot of HP. Dark Lord now going to disjump up, but we do have Angry Pollock, who is coming in off of that route, and he's going to be out completely clean. And this is going to be very hard for the blue team to chase and secure this flag simultaneously. Black is now out with it. Let's see as we look at Fire, who's going through. Let's look at Reticle now as he's going through, trying to do something here. Get this flag black, pulling out that chain gun, doing quite a bit of damage to Nark. He's almost dead, though. He is going to go down. Now we see here, Plosions, Shanky Poo, and Nark all trying to support their flag carrier now. Sin now coming in. Nice MA there from Nark. Going to take Sin down to half HP. Looking to finish off Nark. Not only there immediately, though, for the pickup after Nark dies. We have Descalada now coming in, trying to put as much damage as he can into the shield-packed heavy. We have Descalada, Is a Smurf, Fire, all for the red team, trying to get their flag back home. Descalada not too healthy but right now Meller is kind of all alone he takes some hand grenade shots it looks like he almost tosses that flag straight to fire now implosion is going to try and pick up this flag some direct dish shots though coming from behind and it looks like a hey, blue team is going to be able to hold on to it for a little bit longer right now the blue team's generators are down so they don't have any access to the inventory stations to heal them up we have Tarzul coming in light with shield pack he gets the flag back home let's take a look over on the red side it looks like red Team projectiles team is going to try and get this cap, but not in time. JPY comes in, makes that e grab. A projectile going to toss this flag off and see what we have. We have reticle trying to help out projectile and trying not to let this flag get returned. Now, angry, angry Pollock is taking the flag. We have black over here. This is Corey's view, of course, trying to deal with black. Unable to do so yet. Looks like Nordsmark has died with the blue flag. Let's take a look. At Angry Pollock currently holding the flag for the red team. He's down at a sliver, but he is able to go through. 
and stay alive. Is the Smurf able to get that return somehow for the red team? And this is pretty much it. That is the end of the game. GGs are called. 5-3 to three to final score. So red team able to come back and put some points up on the board and take a map uh, relatively convincingly, I'd say. So GGs to both teams. Now we're going to go through the... Like, this is madness for me already. I don't know how I'm going to do LT. I'll tell you that much. LT is just crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. I catch my breath. So, uh, not stat take. We're going to spectate. So, next map is going to be Menorah, which is an LT map. So, LT, basically, for anyone that does not know, that means that you're going to be able to spawn in light and you're going to have access to the chain gun, the spin fuser, and the grenade launcher, as well as hand grenades. So you won't be able to get any deployable inventory stations, anything like that. It's just strictly your spawn loadout. Well, not a spawn loadout per se, but your LT loadout, which is just chain gun, disc, and grenade launcher. And it is just... I, I They have to reduce the teams, I'd imagine, because doing a 10v10 LT not only would be just insane for themselves, but I'd probably pass out, to be honest. All right. So right now, Dark Lord asking if they're going to be running two LT games. I'm not sure if that is the case, although we did get started pretty early. I mean, this was supposed to go until 8 o'clock, I think. And considering the fact that it pretty much started, at, I think, around 510, had two maps now, lasted about an hour or so. So, yeah, hopefully a 5v5 LT. But either way, guys, so I'll let these guys decide what they're going to be doing. And while we do that, let's take a look at the Kickstarter page. So, yeah, we're still there at uh, almost at $41,000, so... Obviously, this game being developed by Archetype Studios, they currently just started their Kickstarter yesterday, looking to get backers to help them out with the money they need to get this game released. And if you go to playmidair.com, look up in the top right-hand corner, is a nice little green button that says support our Kickstarter. Click on that, and it'll take you to this page, and you'll be able to back it. And there are, uh, obviously, there's people that have been talking about this all day that are way more knowledgeable on all of their different uh, rewards and stuff. But you can see here as we look at uh, some of the different tiers, you can see how much money you donate to them or uh, back them. They will uh, give you certain perks. So if you go to the website, I just said playmidair.com and you go up to the right-hand corner, click on that, you scroll down a few and you'll be able to see the different rewards for the different amount of uh, money that you back this project with. Let's go take a look at the game right now, see if they are switching one on stream, one off. So talking about running two LT games, I'd imagine we'd probably just cast them both. We're definitely within the allotted amount of time that we have for the stream. So... All right, go through, put that back on. Let's see, is Mavi playing right now? Last time he gave us quite a show. Take a look at projectiles first person. While these guys discuss what's going on. Looks like they're right now just trying to figure out who's gonna stay and who's gonna go. A few people are disconnecting. And we'll just watch Fire's point of view. I I must be a good luck charm or something. When I when I uh, go through and start observing someone, they just they get quite a few midairs in a row. Hello, Corey. All right, guys. So I'm going to go through and check my messages. Make sure no one's yelling at me. All right. No one's yelling at me anymore. That's good. <laughs> All 
All right, so let's see. Uh, Fire says, just let everyone know on stream, you can pay 175 bucks and get smoked by us. Uh, what he means by that is uh, one of the tiers, if you donate $175 to the Kickstarter campaign, once the Kickstarter has ended and they've gone through and figured out a few things, you will be given instant access to the alpha. Of course, again, that is after the Kickstarter is over, so about 28 more days and maybe a few more days depending. I'm definitely not the person to get any specifics uh, from, but either way. Um, you know, if you want to play this game, I mean, I'll tell you this much though, you know, you, you wa you're watching these guys right now play. I were watching Mavi in the last uh, time when he was just kind of going around and MAing everything. This stuff is, it is not an easy feat. These guys have played tribes games for a ridiculous amount of time. So it's going to take practice, but I got to tell you, it's worth it. Once you even get decent and you hit like maybe one out of 50 midairs. And, uh, of course, mastering everything else that goes along with it. These The things these guys are doing, it's just not it's not something you're going to be doing, you know, your first week of playing this game. But give it a little dedication. You'll, you'll be able to see some great improvement. All right. So, Dark Lord asking if they are ready. Looks like they have reduced the teams down, too. 5v5, so much more manageable, hopefully. We'll have to see. But yeah, an another thing to keep in mind, too, is with a lot of these shots, as far as consistency goes, uh, the guys uh, doing, going through and making the game right now, they've put a, a lot of work into the netcode, and the netcode in this game is uh, pretty remarkable, especially for an FPS Z game. So, got to keep that in mind too when you're saying when you're looking at uh, this being a little more consistent than what you would see in TA. It's definitely got to do with that netcode. So it looks like they're gonna go start off right now. You know, read down other rosters. This is LT guys. So reduce the Team sizes from 10v10 to 5v5. On Team Red, this is Projectile's team. We have Descalada, Reticle, Fire, Projectile, and Sin. And over on Team Blue, we have Stork, Mavi, Dark Lord, Miller, and who's that boss dog? Already a lot of action. We're looking at Fire right now. He's playing a little light on flag. He's actually going to get MA'd from uh, above him. And the flag now already being picked up by Projectile. On the other side, we see boss dog. Moving out with it. Let's see if we can get on fire. Fire is chasing Boss Dog right now. Getting a lot of shots onto him. And we have Sin now who has made the E-grab for the red team. And now we have Stork picking up the flag for the blue team. Trying to do something with it. Trying to stay alive. Right now Fire still at pretty decent health. Going for the return. And he gets the return. And now we're going to go through a look at Corey or Reticle. Reticle has now picked up the flag for the red team. Looking to put the first point up on the board. There it is. one nothing. Right out the gates, a ton of action coming out from these guys. Take a look and see if we can look at Mavi. Mavi now playing defense for the blue team. This is Dark Lord's team. Looks like on the other side, a boss dog has picked up the flag for the blue team. Mavi trying to clean up projectile. Who's trying to make some room maybe for a uh, capper. That's Sin coming in right now. Mavi gets MA though by Sin. Mavi almost got the body block there, but the MA coming in at the perfect time. Now we have Boss Dog getting chased down by Fire. Fire now looks like he should be able to get this return. The flag is returned there. Now let's take a look at the blue flag out here in the field. Oh my goodness. There it is. Flag is going to get returned there by Mavi. Now Descalada going to pick up the flag here for the red team. Descalada tosses that flag off. Let's see if anyone for the red team going to be able to pick it up. Nice little pickup there by Projectile. Projectile, though, under a lot of pressure here. Taking shots from Stork. Uh, but it looks like that flag should get returned. That was returned by Dark Lord. Now let's look at Fire, who is currently chasing down the blue team's flag capper. This is Boss Dog. He is going to go down low, and he gets taken out by Fire. Fire now looking for the flag. Where did it go? Looks like it gets returned. Now on the other side, the flag has been tossed off here by Sin. Nice little pass to Reticle, who's picked up the flag now for the red team. Blue team has a lot of crash right now. Definitely potential to make an E-grab. Corey now going up, trying to get that cap, and he's somehow able to get it 2 to nothing now in favor of the red team. 
Now we have boss talk going through. Going to get MA'd there by fire. Now we have fire. Going to just go through and finish him off. Now we're on the flag stand with projectile. Projectile just going to llama this flag off. Going to go through and get it over towards his side of the stand. Unable to get any pass off, though. And the flag is going to be returned there by Stork now. Take a look over here on the red side. Miller trying to create some space for Boss Dog. Boss Dog is going to be able to get out. Let's take a look at the other side, though. We have Projectile coming in, trying to clear some space for someone. Descalada also. Descalada not going to grab that flag. Looks like Sin is maybe going to be the cap here. The flag does get dropped, though, by Boss Dog. Nice little MA there coming out from Mavi. Sin opting not to go for the flag grab, but the return. We have Sin going for the return. Fire gets the MA return as it gets knocked up. Nice little play there by Fire. Now we're looking at Projectile playing offense here for the red team. As he moves up, maybe to try to create some space. Descalada gets a nice little MA there. Proj actually just going to go through and start moving with this flag. See if we can get to an external view of him. Projectile now being chased down by Mavi. Mavi, though, doesn't have the best chase route here. And it looks like we have Meller. Meller is going to be able to get the E-grab. He is not. Red team coming out strong within the first four minutes of the game, putting three points up on the board. A very nice job there. Yeah, Fettuccini now coming in and taking out both Fire and Reticle. Just doing a great job right now on defense. Let's take a look here at the blue side of the map. We did have Descalada. It looks like he tried to pick up the flag. Not going to quite happen, but Meller now comes in. He's going to get murdered, though. On the other side now, Proj is out with it for the red team. He does have a chaser on him. Let's see if I can get the first-person view of the chaser. It looks like Descalada actually gets the flag passed to him from Projectile. <coughs> Fire now going to return the flag. For the red team, Corey now picks it up. Uh, Reticle, sorry, I keep on calling him Corey. But either way, Reticle picks it up. Nice little pass there to Descalada. Keeping alive, Descalada and full HP. Mavi's going to go down as well as Stork. The flag is not at their base right now. Dark Lord going to try and do something. Not going to happen. Let's go take a look at Boss Dog. Tossing that flag off to Stork, who's now going to be going up against Proj. Let's take a look at Meller, who's trying to take out Descalada on the other side of the map as well as Reticle. Looks like Stork has dropped the flag, though, on the other side. And now Boss Dog going to pick it up. We have Fire taking him out with that chain gun, but Stork in perfect position to pick up the flag, trying to get an MA now on the Sin. Stork, though, going to take this from behind. Projectile trying to take him out. Stork gets the return and the flag cap somehow. 3-1 to one now is the score. Stork had so, like, just nothing as far as HP. Unfortunately, no one could land that last chain on him, though. Descalada now coming in, trying to pick it up. Nice little MA there by Stork. And another MA, Jesus. So Stork taking out Descalada there. Let's take a look on this side of the map as we see Dark Lord coming in, trying to make a hole for Meller. Meller, though, takes a ton of damage on the stand. He is able to make it out, though. One of these chain bullets hit him. He's going to die, but it looks like he's able to make it back home. Now we have Descalada who's picked up the flag for the red team. He goes down, though. See here now, blue team trying to return this flag. It looks like Fettuccini going to return it. Oh, no, but on the other it looks like... The flag unable to get capped. Nice little MA there by Mavi, though. The flag is captured by him. Now 3-2. to two. So blue team rallying a bit here after their relatively dismal start. We have Sin now. Looks like he's trying to clear a spot here for Projectile. Projectile coming in. He gets MA'd, though. What a shot by Stork. Oh, my goodness. Nice shot there by Stork. Now we're going to take a look at Boss Dog's first-person view as he is capping right now for the blue team. Oh, my God. What a shot. <laughs> These guys, this is so hard to do, and they're just doing such an amazing job at getting these MAs. Oh, no, it looks like Boss Dog might have stopped holding down the skate button there for a second, and he immediately stops. Now we see Dark Lord going through, trying to pick up the flag, but Proj is going to beat him to it. Descalada now goes down. But, yeah, that shot by Boss Dog, unfortunately, there he lost so much speed, but he actually took out Fire before Fire was able to stop him. On his route, so nice little play there. Let's take a look at Fire playing LD for the red team. Sees Dark Lord coming in, going for some of those mid airs. Dark Lord does get hit by a few, but now Proj and Reticle both know that these guys are coming. Looks like Fire, or not Proj, I'm sorry, Fire and Reticle both know they're coming, and Fire gonna go through, throw some hand grenades on that stand. Now we're looking at Projectile trying to clear a space here for one of his cappers. Now he's throwing those hand grenades, and he is pretty much doing a good job of clearing, but unfortunately Sin is not going to be able to get it. But Descalada does. What a shot coming out from Mappy. Jesus. These guys are insane. Now we're on Meller. Meller makes it out with full HP this time, looking to tie up the game. Descalada in hot pursuit, though. Meller, though, still at a lot of HP. Fire crashing down the mid. 
Meller, though, goes down really low, tosses off that flag, and Dark Lord makes a nice minor pickup, but we have Fire coming in, finishing off Dark Lord. Stork, though, picking it up. How is anyone going to be able to stop this? Doesn't look like it. Descalada gets that made before he can make that E grab. Game is tied 3 to 3 now. Holy moly, this game is just insane right now. Now ba Boss Dog picks up the flag for the blue team. He's going to get taken out. What a pickup by Dark Lord. I saw that one coming from a mile away. And Fire did too. Dark Lord picks up the flag. He just jumps back towards his base, unable to get there alive, though. Now we see the red team's flag sitting behind the blue team's base. Where the heck did it go? That is the question. There it is. Stork now has it. Stork, though, sliver of HP. Dark Lord in the perfect position. Pick up that flag out of the midair. Dark Lord now trying to stay alive. Projectile, though, has made it out with a flag for the red team. And it looks like blue team going to be able to recover here for the time being. Let's take a look at Fire as he comes in off of his crash route trying to get some shots into the enemy offense going through trying to land some grenade launcher shots on the start stork right now stork though being very elusive sin now coming in as well nice ma there by sin takes stork down to nothing now we have dark lord who should get taken out here in a second and he does on the other side blue team flag is in the hands now of projectile sin though oh my god these ma's are coming out left and right from these guys that was between uh Fettuccini and someone else, but either way, Projectile now picks up the flag. He goes down at the last second. Dark Lord makes the E grab. Descalada now. Is anyone going to pick it up? That is Sin. Oh, Sin, though, takes a mid air grenade shot from the back. Now Reticle's going to pick it up here for the red team. He just jumps up, looking for a potential pass to anyone. He tosses it off now to Sin. Sin picks it up for the red team. Sin now looking for the return. He gets it. Score is now 4 to 3 in favor of the red team. We have some front side crash coming in right now. Projectile, though. Gonna make it out with the red team's flag. Pretty clean as well. Half HP of Dark Lord. Stork. Yeah, four chasers on him right now. That's Mavi trying to finish him off. He's still at pretty decent HP. His flag is still home as well, but no, he gets mid aired. Getting taken out there by Dark Lord. And Meller makes the return. And through all that, Boss Dog now gonna be able to pick up this flag. Let's see if we can look at Projectile. Projectile now going through and trying to get as much damage as he can not going to happen though he decides to kill out and blue team going through <laughs> and putting a fourth point up on the board now a tie game yet yeah, again let's take a look at proj as he's coming in looking to maybe clear out for one of his flag cappers mavi trying to do any damage he can to him mavi going to take a direct shot there from projectile he's just going to opt to kill out now now we're on fire fire Gonna start chasing after Dark Lord. He does go down though. Let's take a look at Descalada. Descalada at about half HP. Not much chase on him right now. Oh, I lied. Holy moly. Mavi comes out of nowhere. Gets a nice MA there on Descalada and a return. On the other side, Stork almost gets a cap, but he gets knocked off the flag sand and he tosses it. Sin almost gets a mid air return there. Dark Lord now picks it up. He goes down. Stork now picks it up for the blue team. Projectile is still out with it though for the red team. Not too healthy, but still. Oh, nice MA coming in there from Descalada. Flag now gets picked up by Dark Lord. Descalada, not too healthy. Looking for the time return here for Dark Lord. Dark Lord, though, under a lot of pressure, a lot of grenade fire. The grenade fire is going to connect fire, actually, with that grenade fire. <coughs> going to be able to get the kill. Fire goes down. Sin now picks up the flag for the red team. Fettuccini had no HP whatsoever. Descalada coming for the return flag. Gets returned there. Now Sin out with it with half HP. What a shot! Jesus, Sin MA's Dark Lord. In the face, unfortunately, from this view, I can't go to first-person view, but, geez, what a shot coming out from Sin. Sin now, under a lot of pressure, able to get the flag cap on the board, though. 5-4 to four is the score. And that rhymes. That's cute. Now, Projectile out with it again. He's actually going to disjump here. Let's see if we can see any of the chasers. This is actually Projectile. Now we're looking at Mavi chasing out Projectile, trying to stop this frag from going home. Proj, though, able to toss that flag off to Reticle. Reticle now picks it up. A nice MA there from Mavi, though. Now Mavi frantically looking to see where the flag has gone. Flag down. He's looking for the return. Does he get it? Yes, he does. Nice return there by Mavi. Flag goes back home, and Boss Dog now out with it for the red team. On the other side, though, Descalada is out with it as well. Descalada going to drop the flag. Let's take a look at the blue flag, actually, right now. As it looks like it's going to go all the way back to the red team's base we have a lot of crash coming in let's see if we can there we got mavi now mavi looking to take out descalada descalada they're going to get finished off by some chain fire flag now for the blue team in the field red team though has returned it red but their flag gets picked up now nice set, shot there by mavi mavi taking out reticle uh now he's going through and he's trying to take out someone else not quite sure who that is but dark lord gets the return 
Now we're on fire. Looks like fire just holding his flag out in the field for the time being. Flag goes back home as it was sitting in the midfield. Now we have Descalada moving in, trying to clear a hole here for Projectile. Some MAs coming in, taking him down low. Projectile, though, and looks like he's actually might just be clearing a hole for someone else. I don't know who it could be, though. I'm going to go over to Fire. Fire defending for the red team. We have Boss Dog and Meller all coming in off of the left route. A lot of damage on the Boss Dog on his exit, though. He's going to get finished off there. But the flag does make it very far. And we'll have to see if anyone from the blue team is able to keep it alive. Dark Lord trying to stay alive here. He has no HP. Meller, though, he has quite a bit of HP. Going to pick it up. And we do see Reticle. Let's see if we can click on to Reticle real quick, who's chasing here for the red team. He's going to try and take out Meller. Meller, though, is going to go down on the other side. It looks like flag has been picked up. Attempted MA. The nice shot there coming out from fire. Going to take out the chaser. See here, he's looking to gun down Dark Lord. Now, holy shit. That deserves a holy shit. It's just insane. How many MAs these guys are able to land? Let's take a look now at Mavi's point of view as Reticle is looking to stay alive here. He's actually going to toss that flag off over to Fire. Fire, though, unable to get the midair pickup. Now we see the flag picked up by Sin for the red team. Blue team desperately trying to get their flag back home. It is currently 5-4 to four with 11 minutes and 26 seconds remaining in the map. And the flag, though, out on the other side. Let's take a look and see. This is, this is Projectile looking to see... If he's able to get the return stork with a nice midair pickup there. Projectile now looking to put as much damage as he can on to the stork. Not going to happen, though. On the other side, though, let's take a look at Mavi. He's trying to kill Reticle, but Reticle's going to come out on top of that deal. Now, Fire trying to return his team's flag, and he gets it. Let's take a look on the other side, and Reticle's able to cap the flag. 6-4 to four now it is the score with 10 minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the map. These guys are just going crazy right now. Let's see. We're looking at Projectile right now, who's holding the flag. For the red team, going to go through and this jump there. We have Mavi now chasing down Projectile, looking for that MA. He's going to be able to get it. Projectile going to toss that flag off and kill out, though. Now Mavi going through, grenading that flag back and forth. Is he going to be able to get the return? Flag gets dissed away from him. Doesn't look like it. Reticle actually going to be able to kill Mavi before he's able to make the return. Now we have Dark Lord trying to put a lot of damage into Descalada. And on the other side, the red team's flag is out as well. Nice MA there. Going to take fire down pretty low. Fire now. Going to toss that flag down to Reticle and Descalada. Descalada picks it up. The red flag now is returned here. Descalada looking to put the score up on the board. Nice shot coming in from fire, preventing that E-grab. The flag is capped 7-4. to four. One more cap for the red team, and they will cap this game out. <coughs> so now, taking a look at Mavi, who's trying to take out Projectile. Mavi now looking at all of the incoming offense. He's going to go for that body block. Looks like he's able to do it. Flag is now going to be safe for the time being. Mavi, though, doesn't have a lot of HP. Now we're looking at fire. Fire under a lot of pressure. Let's see who else we can find here on the map. Now let's look at Reticle. Reticle going to start chasing Miller. He doesn't have enough HP, though, to do a disc jump, and he's actually just going to get taken out from a chain gun from behind. That was Dark Lord taking him out. So now let's go take a look at the blue side of the map. We have Sin coming in. Trying to go through, pick up that flag. He does get out with it, buying his team a little bit of time here. As the flag is dropped behind blue team's base. Corey coming in, trying to get that return. Not going to happen. Fire also trying to get it. Stork, though, going to pick it up for the blue team with full HP. Looks like we have Descalada attempting an E-grab. Not going to happen, though. We have Sin trying to put grenade fire on. He does. He gets the kill. 7-4 still to score. Sin, though, unable to get the return. Now, Boss Dog is going to be able to pick it up. Let's see if... Descalada is able to do anything though. Flag is time return and Boss Dog gets the cap, bringing it seven to five. So blue team keeping the dream alive right now, seven to five being the score. But red team only needs one more cap to cap it out. Let's take a look at Reticle here. Reticle actually going on offense that run. Now let's take a look and see what Mavi's doing. Mavi's going to be attempting to get over to the enemy flag stand before the cap out can happen. He's going through, putting down those grenade launcher shots. Not going to be because uh. Can't really read chat and cast. I'm just not that talented. But great. So I'm not sure if we're going to be having another game, but oh my God, just insane game from those players. So many midairs, so many just crazy flag passes and everything. LT is such a fun game to watch. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I was trying a little more uh, stuff with the camera opposed to just being in obs mode the whole time so hopefully it's a bit more enjoyable
Again, I can't see you guys flaming me just because uh, I can't really read chat and cast. I'm just not that talented. But great game coming out from those two teams. 5v5 LT on Menorah, definitely very entertaining to watch. This, of course, is Icewind, the first map we saw. Uh, let me ask him, uh, is there going to be... Ask him if there's going to be another game. If not, see if we can talk to the captains, Dark Lord and Projectile. Get their insight on game one, which Dark Lord's team was able to win uh, pretty handily, I think. It was 7-3, to three, the final score. And then uh, second map, that was, of course, Verdant, which was, that went the side of Projectile. Uh, what was the final score? Like, I think it was, I can't remember, 6-4. to four. I think that was at 6-4. to four. And last map we just saw, which was 8-5 uh, to five final score. It was, eight, yeah, 8-5 to five final score. And that was Team Projectile taking that as well. All right, so it looks like they are going to be playing another game. The next map is going to be Iridus. And keep in mind while uh, watching it, along with the rest of these maps we're seeing, they are very much work in progress. We are still in pre-alpha stage with this game. Not me saying like I have anything to do with uh, this game, but uh, Archetype Studios is still in uh, pre-alpha with this game. So. so yeah, all these maps, very subject to change, but i got to say that Menorah map was very fun to watch. This guy's giving us a lot of interesting content. Oh, God. I'm going to get finger blasted down. Um, oh, Miller giving me the free shot. I'll take it. All right. So, looks like Boss Dog does have to leave. So, going to have to go through and, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's still people left over from the 10v10s that they played earlier. So, And while we wait for that, guys, again, being uh, this is for the 48 hours of midair, the Kickstarter just happened yesterday. And uh, oh, shout out to Hot Rod, retired on my Steam. He said, It's nice to hear your smooth whiskey drinking voice again. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, so head over to playmidair.com in the top right hand corner. You're going to see a nice green button that says support our Kickstarter. Click on that, and you get to this page. And you can uh, be a backer for this game. They have various levels and tiers depending on how much you uh, back them with as far as the money goes. So you can scroll down a little bit and you can see the different prices and perks that you're going to be able to get along with these guys. And after this stream, keep in mind that Bug Spray, a.k.a. Chris, uh, sorry, Chris, I can't remember your last name, but uh, is going to be doing a Q&A session. We'll pull up the schedule here real quick. So yeah, gameplay Q&A with Chris, a.k.a. Bug Spray, and then level design after that with Stealth RG. So I'm going to keep this cast going for a little bit longer. I'd imagine I'm down the cast as long as these guys are able to, or these guys allow me to go through and hijack their stream. I'm having issues spelling spectate today. Everyone calling out, get on the right teams. I'm going to go through. Don't worry, guys. I know it's not showing. Gets you to be able to see the map. So, warm up is now ended, and they're just going to go straight into it. So, let's get a read on. Looks like Mayog actually going to be coming in for Boss Dog. Pretty cool. So, Team Red, this is Team Projectile. We have Reticle, Mayog, Projectile, Descalada, Fire. And over on Team Blue, this is Team Dark Lord. We have Sin, Dark Lord, Stork, Meller, and Mavi. We're actually looking at Sin right now. He's coming off of a route. Again, this is another LT map, so these guys are going to be spawning with chain gun, disc launcher, and grenade launcher, as well as hand grenades and an E-pack. Sin going to pick up the flag, looking for a pass off the Miller. Unable to get it. That would have been so nice. But either way, let's take a look at the red flag as Dark Lord now going to pick it up. Uh, red team desperately trying to get this cap on the board as Descalada tosses off over to Reticle. Reticle now has a flag under a lot of pressure. Mavi trying to take him out, unable to do so. Let's take a look over here 
see what we uh, can pick up. This is projectile. Looks like waiting for the enemy to come back to their flag stand. Fire now going to be chasing down Sin, who's picked up the flag 14 projectile. Going to put a lot of damage there. Oh, you can't find him, though, now. He's looking to see where Sin went. Sin went high up into the air. Corey, though, or Reticle, going to go down. Dark Lord actually going to get a return, and this might be the first point up here for the blue team. Oh, Fire with an amazing grenade shot. Oh, such clutch there. Fire going to keep it alive in the field for the time being. We'll have to see. This is a bit of a bigger map than Menorah. Fire on fire right now you can say mavi now picks up the flag he's going to get finished out by fire flag does make it up to the flag stand though stork nice little ma there on fire and oh my goodness descalada now coming in trying to take out stork projectile for the red team has made it out looks like descalada trying to get some uh, grenades there onto the flag stand mayog now coming in he gets that made though by mavi mavi double ma's mayog jeez Man, just uh, right out the gates. Fire now coming back in, seeing if he can do anything. He gets Stork with a nice direct shot there. Stork now goes down, trying to pass it off to Mavi. Mavi and Sin, though, going to be able to keep it alive here for the blue team. Let's take a look at the other side of the map. We have some mid-air flag passes going on here. So it looks like it's pretty safe over here. Let's take a look at Sin. Sin trying to avoid some shots coming in from Mayog. This is Dark Lord's point of view. Let's see if Dark Lord's able to do anything for his team as he tries to return his flag for the blue team. Sin, though, on the other side, has dropped the flag. Let's take a look at it. That's uh, Stork now has a flag for the other team. Let's go back. Sin now picks it up. Jeez. Uh, Sin now under a lot of pressure. He's The flag does get returned now by the blue team, but the flag immediately picked up by the red team. Now the flag for the red team flying off way far away. But it's actually pretty good for the blue team. His blue team now has a flag back at home. Looking to put the first point up on the board. Projectile gets that made there as he comes in. Unable to get the E-grab. We have someone coming way up in there. That is Reticle coming in. He gets that made. He is able to somehow get the E-grab, though. Buys his team time. Now Fire comes in. Gets that return. Flag goes back home. Red team keeping it tied 0-0 here. <coughs> now let's take a look here. We have... You know, look at Projectile as he starts a route over to the enemy base. Projectile on the red team. Look at these scores already. 20 points for Fire. He was doing amazing those first uh, few minutes of the match just with such clutch coming out. <clears throat> Either way now, looks like Projectile going to go through and just start doing some clearing. Going to go... Maybe get a better idea of what's going on here. Reticle now under some pressure from Dark Lord and Meller. Reticle, though, uh, going to be able to take out, or someone took out uh, Dark Lord, I think. Either way, Sin now picks up the flag here for the blue team. He is out with a pretty decent health. Let's take a look at the blue side of the map. And Sin is coming, trying to put up the first point up on the board. It's still not 0-0 zero, zero here. We have Sin coming in, and he does get the cap there. And Meller now picks up the flag on the other side. This is the red team's flag. But he is going to go down. Flag should be pretty much secure here for the red team. But yeah, in comparison to Menorah, Menorah had a relatively low hill. And this map, obviously, is higher hill. I mean, you can go through the middle if you want. But it makes it a little bit harder to get those crashes off off of spawn. Definitely not going to be quite as action-packed as Menorah was. But still, Descalada now making it back to his home. He's going to get taken out, though. On the other side, Sin coming in. Sin going to make it out with completely full HP. And Fire is chasing him. Let's see if we can get on Fire. He is so far away, though. Going for those grenade shots. Seeing if he can get any damage on Sin. So far, it doesn't look like it. Let's go take a look at the blue flag as it is currently in the field. Reticle trying to keep it alive. Trying to dodge that grenade fire from behind as well. Meller should go down here pretty soon. And it looks like Fire, as he has respawned on his side of the map, he is not going to be able to do it. Mayog, though, gets the return, though. Or not Mayog. I thought it said Mayog return. But Mayog picks, has the flag currently for the red team. Someone got the return there for the red team. Dark Lord, though, able to get this E-grab. Right now, red team really needs to find out how to stop these really high routes from coming in. Mayog takes a direct shot from the back with a ring launcher. Reticle now going low. Meller and <laughs> so many people on him. We have Mayog now trying to keep this flag alive. Mavi, though, gets the return. It looks like the red team's flag is safe for now. And the field sin trying to pick it up. At least forces the flag return to reset everything here. We're now looking at the red side of the map right now. Red team 
down by one point. It is only one nothing here with 19 minutes and 14 seconds remaining in the map, so plenty of time to come back. Let's take a look at the blue side. We do have Mavi and Stork both playing some light on flag. Projectile going to actually go through and pick up this flag. Let's take a look at Fire as he's casually shooting at his teammates. I saw someone on his screen, and I don't know if he saw it, though. Not sure what's going on here, but yeah, these really high routes seem to be very effective as it's just very difficult, I guess, to do anything about it. But either way, projectile is going to go down now. Flag is in the field, almost gets returned there by Meller. Meller, though, unable to get the return at this point. We do have two red players over here. Meller almost gets returned with a sliver. Mavi going for it. He gets dissed away from him, though. Mavi unable to get it. Let's take a look at the blue side of the map, see how Dark Lord's doing. Looks like Fire coming in, trying to get some damage on the Dark Lord, but. Dark Lord going to go through. He does get taken out. The flag it does get returned by the blue team. Stork is going to have an easy cap here. Two to nothing now. So this bigger map kind of helping out Team Dark Lord a bit, it seems. Meller now picks up the flag for the blue team. Moving pretty fast with it as well. Let's take a look and see if we can find any of the chasers. Descalatus is projectile. Looks like he's going to be coming off of his route. So, oh, what a pass there. Between Meller and Sin, geez, I should have just stayed on Meller's point of view. But either way, Sin is able to pick up that flag out of the air after Meller passes it to him. He also had Maze Reticle there. Let's take a look at Sin. Oh, my goodness. Sin currently at 72 HP. His flag is home. Only 7 HP remaining. Uh, currently, there is no, whoop, currently, there is no fall damage in the game. So, no matter what, at this point in this build, uh, no fall damage. So... Don't really have to worry about how hard you hit the ground. Now, Projectile has picked up the flag for the red team. And see big orange letters there. You have the flag. Dark Lord coming in off of his route right now. No one sees him, it looks like. Now they do. Able to get the body block there between Fire and Reticle. Let's look at Mavi. is trying to chase down Projectile. Projectile almost dead. Mavi desperately trying to get the finishing touch. Not going to happen, though. But Sin is coming in immediately trying to get an answer cap here. See if Fire or Reticle able to stop him. And it looks like they are. Nice little body block coming out between these two players. Now we have the red team's flag stand completely covered in blue. Dark Lord coming in. Dark Lord inadvertently actually gets body blocked there by Fire. Let's see if we can look at any of these chasers as they chase down Dark Lord. There we go. We're on Fire now. Going to go through try and just dump. The flag is back home for the red team. It looks like Dark Lord opts to pass this flag all the way back to his base. Looking for a mid-air pickup. What a pickup by Stork. Now let's see. we got an MA grenade attempt coming in. Not going to happen, though. Fire going to go down. And that is the fourth point up on the board here for Team Dark Lord. Mavi trying to prevent Descalada from picking up the flag. Looks like Projectile, though, going to be able to get out with it. Let's take a look and see where the red flag is. Red flag was picked up. It's going to be tossed all the way over to the blue side of the map. Do have a potential return here coming in from Fire and Descalada, though. Fire going to be able to get the return. Now let's look at Projectile. As he's moving this flag, he's going to risk a disc jump here, taking a lot of chain damage. Going to toss that flag off now. Reticle going to get a nice shot there on Dark Lord. Sin, though, able to get out with the flag. Where the hell did the flag go? That is a question. Here is the flag. Looking for who's going to be able to pick it up or return it. We have Mellier, Meller almost coming in, getting that return. Now Reticle is going to pick it up. Now let's look at Sin. Sin is not going anywhere fast. Fire should be able to catch up with him pretty... Oh, God, what a just nice grenade shot there by Fire. Looks like Sin, though, he is every, eventually going to get caught up with. Mayog now going to make the return there. Let's see if the red team is able to cap this flag. No, they are not. Flag gets returned by Meller in the end. Score is going to stay tied 1-4. to four, And already, uh, Meller... It said he got the return, but he actually picked up the flag here. I'm not sure what's going on. Either way, Meller now picks up the flag... Tosses it off. It's going to go all the way next to the out-of-bounds grid. We have Sin coming in, trying to pick it up out of the field. Reticle, though, not going to allow that to happen just yet. We have Reticle and Sin now dueling in the midst of the Tron-like glow. Take a look and see what uh, Mavi's doing. Mavi getting an MA, of course. Whenever I switch to this guy, I swear he's getting a, a direct shot. Either way, though, blue flag seems fine right now. Now let's take a look at Reticle. Reticle going to be going in, trying to take out Sin, looking for these cappers desperately. As right now, Red Team is having a bit of an issue finding him pretty soon. And now Dark Lord going to go through. He's actually going to take out Reticle with his grenade clear fire. Descalado, though, picks up the flag now for the Red Team. We're on Stork right now. He's playing defense, going to try and secure 
the enemy's flag at his base for now. There's Dark Lord still at full HP. Uh, projectile, though, over here trying to get the flag back home. Dark Lord now has the flag. He has no health, though. Fire able to get the kill and the return. Let's see if the red team is able to ca get a cap out of this. Right now, Reticle has a flag. He does not have a lot of HP. Sin trying to take him out. Reticle going to toss that flag off. Sin unable to get the return. We have so much crash coming in right now. This is Stork's point of view. Going for that long-range grenade launcher shot. Not going to happen, though. Red team able to get the cap. 2-4 to four now is the score. With 13 minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the map. So still plenty of time. For the red team to come back here. We have Sin now looking to put some damage into the red team base. There's Dark Lord. Dark Lord not even going for the cap. We did have some hand grenade spam coming out there. There is Sin. Sin what a shot by Reticle. Twitch shot there if I've ever seen one. Reticle right now desperately trying to find the capper. There's a capper. He has found Dark Lord. He is now throwing hand grenades all over the flag stand, trying to prevent Dark Lord from getting out with it. But oh, looks like maybe someone else is coming in for it. And there it is. Meller now coming in for the flag. And he's going to get out clean. And on the other side, Blue Flag is still looking pretty. As we look at Stork looking for any incoming cappers, doesn't look like anyone's going to be uh, capping yet. See if we can get on to Projectile, who's chasing right now. Gets a nice shot on the Meller. Takes him down to enough HP where he can just shoot him once with that chain gun shot. That's going to be a really nice play there. Keep the red team in this game with 12 minutes and 48 seconds remaining in the map. I'm going to take a look at Projectile now, who's heading out to the enemy base. Let's actually look at the blue flag. Malvi and Stork sitting on it. Mayog giving some destruction from above. Here comes Desclada now. Desclada going to pick up the flag, but he takes a lot of damage in the process. Let's take a look over here at the red side. See if we can look at fire. Fire right now. He is trying to stop Sin, who is coming in on a fast route. Not going to be able to stop him, though. Sin going really fast right now. Before he hit that hill, he's going about 180. Let's take a look now at Projectile, who has made it back to his base after Descalada initially picked it up. Going to toss it off now to Reticle. It looks like we're going to go into another standoff situation here. We have Mavi uh, getting some long-range disc spam here. Let's take a look at Mavi as he's sitting on top of the red team's base he's actually sneaking up on reticle reticle gonna turn around though with a nice little uh answer shot mavi going for it. oh my god the midairs are just ridiculous mavi gets a midair every midair for everyone why not uh the red flag was returned though by desk lot of keeping it four to two. Oh, my ass is getting a little numb here that's how you know when you're really fat anyway so now the score is gonna stay two to four projectile maybe trying to make some room here for Descaladas, Mayog and uh, Projectiles seem to be clearing here. Here comes Descalada. Descalada, though, what a body block there by Stork. Let's take a look at Mavi as they start the... Oh, my God. Descalada, so unfortunate there for him. Now we're, we're looking at Reticle's view as he's l desperately looking for... Uh, looks like at this point, Sin. Sin is coming in. Fire, only one to do anything. What a shot by Sin. Able to clear fi fire and make sure he doesn't get the body block. And Sin is now out with full HP. Jeez. And let's go take a look now here at Projectile. Projectile actually waiting at the mid, looking for some teammate support, it looks like. He's going to toss that flag off to Reticle now. Reticle holding the flag for the red team. He is very low, though. Mavi taking him down to a sliver. Reticle looking to t toss that flag off to fire. Not going to happen quite yet. Flag is getting tossed all around. Reticle now immediately responds, comes back. Nice little mid-air shot there by Mavi, but it's just not enough. And Reticle going to be safe for the time being. Take a look at... Let's see who's doing something right now. We're looking at Dark Lord. The flag actually was returned. My bad. Missed that flag return. But Descalada able to get the return. Putting the red team on the board again. Three to four currently. So only down by one point with 10 minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Dark Lord right now doing some clear here for his capper. Nice little shot there from Reticle. Reticle, though, going to get cleaned up. And now Sin picks up the flag with full HP. And he is out completely clean, going about 180 kilometers an hour right now. Let's take a look, see what Descalada is up to. Descalada not looking quite as good as Sin. He's got a lot of speed, though, just not that much HP. Let's go look at Mayog. Mayog taking out Mavi, making sure that he is unable to chase down that flag. Reticle now holding the flag here for the red team. Meller coming in hot, though. Meller trying to take out Reticle. And right now the flag in the field. Descalada trying to keep it alive in the field, but no, it's going to get returned by Dark Lord. Now let's take a look at the other side. Looks like the flag is going to get returned there by Mayog. So flags go back home for both teams. Three to four currently the score. 
I'm looking at, at the red flag stand right now. Have Desclaw starting off his route projectile over here. Let's see if he actually goes for the flag grab. Looks like he is attempted to, but unable to. So a nice shot there by Proj. Connecting with some of the LD now. Proj just trying to take out Mavi. Mavi goes <laughs> down. Proj trying not to body block his own capper there. Now we see Sin coming in from a nice little back route. It doesn't look like Fire knows this is happening yet, and he does not. And Sin going to get out with a decent amount of health, and actually Fire going to kill out immediately afterwards. Let's take a look. Reticle picks up the flag right before Mavi can. So nice little play there by Reticle, keeping the flag alive in the field. Mavi, though, still has a decent amount of HP. Dusclaw now going to pick it up. We have Meller as well as Dark Lord joining the blue team, trying to get their flag back home. Blue team... It looks like they might be able to. Nice little direct shot there, there by Descalada. Take him Meller down to very little HP. Let's take a look at Sin. Sin currently up against Mayog. Mayog, though, has no HP. Going to get taken out from behind. Going to go back to Reticle. Reticle, not a lot of HP here. Nice shot there by Sin. See if we can find Reticle's first uh, point of view. It doesn't look like it. Flag is now going to be dropped. Flag's dropping left and right. What a shot there by Proj. Trying to get the return. Forcing the flag to be tossed there. And the flag is actually going to get returned. This, but, of course, the other flag gets returned during all this madness. Now we have Mayog picking up the flag for the red team, trying to put the equalizing cap up on the board. Three to four here still in favor of the red team. Avi going to return that flag. But it looks like we have Proj going in for a pickup at Stork on top of that. I think they both made each other. All right, wait, let's take a look at uh, let's look for Reticle. Here's Reticle's point of view. Going through, trying to clear all of this craziness coming off. Meller now going to be able to pick up the flag. Sin right behind him. <laughs> like, literally, these guys are on one of the closest tandem routes I've ever seen. Sin trying to take out Reticle right now, who is currently chasing. Actually, I have quite a few chasers. Meller looking to toss his flag off, probably. He's chased his flag, almost going to projectile. Stork, though, nice pickup, but Stork immediately takes a disc to the face. He goes down, grenade fire. Now we have, oh, man, almost returned there. Meller, though, unable to get onto the flag, and he has a sliver of HP as Mayog gets out with that E-grab with full HP. So going to go off into another standoff. You can look at Proj as he is currently trying to get the flag back home for the red team. Sin so far evading. Flag was dropped by Mayog. Flag is in the field now uh, for the blue team. Blue team trying to hold on to it. Meller goes down, though. Stork now picks up, and Proj gets a perfect shot to him. But it doesn't. Did it go back home? I can't tell. Yes, it did. Proj gets the return there for the red team, looking to put the fourth point up on the board, the tying point. And it looks like they will be able to do so with the size of this map. Descalada going to disc jump up, toss it off over to Proj, and Proj is going to put that cap up on the board. Four to four now. With six minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the map. All right. Sin now coming in off a very fast route. He actually taking him by surprise, almost killing Reticle, but Fire and Reticle going to be able to tag team Sin, make sure he doesn't get out. Now we're looking at Mayog as he's trying to escort home Projectile. Projectile going to go down. Looks like Mayog is going to be able to keep it in the field. Not quite sure yet. Stork is over here, but more players uh, for the red team are showing up. That's Descalada, but they don't have any HP, so they're going to go down. Let's take a look at Reticle as Meller now able to try to just maybe fake a route here. I'm going to see where Sin is. Reticle almost gets a nice shot there on Meller. He's going to go down. Now we're looking at Reticle again as he has respawned. Still don't see where Sin is. Reticle trying to find out where this capper is coming from. Uh, right now, though, there he is. He's actually coming in for a back route, so Sin is going to be able to get out with it. Now we're looking at Stork. Descalada on the other side has gone out with it as well. Looking at um, Meller right now. Meller looking to get the return for his team. Let's take a look over on the other side. We have Dark Lord here. Fire for the red team looking to get the return for is James Sin, though, is going to stay alive. Fire gets finished off there by Stork. Go take a look over at Reticle. Oh, we've got a sneaky man from behind. That is Mavi. Mavi, though, unfortunately missing his shot, and he's going to go down. Projectile now trying to take out Dark Lord. Dark Lord should go down. Reticle still looking pretty healthy there. <coughs> now we're on fire. Fire trying to soften up the defense here. Pulling out that chain. A little nice MA action coming out there from Stork, though. Stork, though, is going to go down. We still do have 
One player remaining, but that flag actually stays up on the blue flag stand. Unfortunately, there for the red team. Descalada and Mayog now trying to get this flag back home. Reticle on the other side has died. Looks like Projectile trying to get the flag. He picks it up. He goes down. We have Reticle now. Reticle unable to pick it up, and the flag goes back home for the blue team. This will be the fifth point. Blue team might be able to take the lead here, and they do 5-4 to four now in favor of Team Dark Lord. Look at the scores here real quick. Wow, we have Mavi up there at 98 points, Stork at 87. So the defense for Team Dark Lord doing work. On the other end of the spectrum, though, we do have Reticle and Fire leading their teams doing the defense as well. Looking at Mavi here as he looks at Mao coming in. Looks like he's just doing a bit of distraction here. We do have Desclaude picking up the flag. He takes so much damage that he should be easily finished off here by the chain guns. We have Proj now going for the pickup out of the mid. Wow, what a nice little redirection there of the flag to pick it up out of the field. Proj, though, going to toss it off now, looking for anyone. That's Descalada going to be able to pick it up out of the field here for the red team. Oh, no, he misses it, though. Trying to get, yeah, trying to get it. There he goes. He gets it. Descalada, though, under a lot of pressure. Flag is not at home either, and it doesn't look like he has any teammates here. So the flag is going to get dropped, and Dark Lord going to be able to make that return projectile now making the e-grab here for the red team stork jumping around mayog gonna get a shot there on stork the flag is dropped dark lord now picks up mayog still desperately trying to get this return fire now let's see if we can look uh i don't think fire is going to do anything with that let's look at mavi he tries and chase down projectile he gets one chain gun on projectile projectile is going to go down pretty low here one more chain will take him out but he's opting just to toss the flag and kill out Flag now. Is anyone for the red team going to be able to make a play on this? Mavi going for the midair there on projectile who just catches his own flag. Flag is now uh, back at home for the red team. Nice little pass there to Reticle and they get the cap. What a uh, teamwork there. And 5-5 five to five now is a score. So yeah, nice uh, little teamwork there between projectile and Reticle getting that cap. Now we have Sin. Sin coming off of a fast route here. But Reticle did get it called out to him, it looks like, and he's going to be able to do a lot of damage to Sin before he's able to go anywhere. Sin, though, going to toss that flag off, try and get it to Dark Lord. Not going to happen for the time being, though. Fire and Reticle now trying to keep this flag out in the field. Dark Lord going down. Meller goes down. Dark Lord goes down, too. Everyone's down. Mayog, though, looks like he's on his way home trying to pick up the six point for his team that's given the lead. Mayog now has a flag mavi trying to do something is he gonna be able to get it no mavi goes down in the last second get taken out there by descalada and that is six to five now and proj immediately picks the flag up afterwards so it looks like the stay home d uh not quite up to snuff right now a flag though does get dropped almost returned there by descalada what a shot there by star not returned but picked up out of the field by descalada but stork actually prevents that from happening with a nice little midair dark lord now picks up the flag let's take a look See if we can find uh, fire. Here's fire as he's going to start chasing down Dark Lord. <clears throat> going for those grenade shots. Oh, nice grenade shot, actually. Putting a ton of damage into Dark Lord. Dark Lord going to be forced to throw that flag off. But it looks like there are a lot of red players over there just waiting for that flag. Sin, though, picks it up. Going to keep it alive. Flag, though, uh, does get picked up by Mayog. Mayog, though, has dropped it there. Flag does get returned, and the equalizing cap goes up for the blue team. 6-6 six to six now. Not quite sure what happened there, but unfortunately, for the red team, they've lost their lead. 36 seconds remaining, so I'm, I don't think there's OT yet in this game, so could just have a tie here. Uh, unless Mayog has anything to say about it. It is going to be quite a ways back to his base, though, before he's able to... Uh, Captains, let's take a look at Mavi as he chases down Dark or Mayog. Mayog is going to go down. Navi, Mavi now, not Navi. Mavi <laughs> going to be able to pick it up. Oh, Sin was coming in on such a fast route there. Unfortunately, it takes way too much damage. But uh, with five seconds left, yeah, I don't think anything's going to be going to be able to uh, happen here. I'm not sure if they put OT. Yet. I guess we will. No, they have not. So final score going to be six to six tie game. So pretty even games throughout. All of these series here, I must see. And, of course, uh, for anyone wondering, OT is in the works. It's not like they're just going to have uh, stalemates every time. So do expect OT in later builds, just not currently in the game. So we'll see now.
is anyone going to join me or are they going to keep on playing that really is the question let me check out in-game chat because we're still slotted for about 50 minutes i believe well let's just ask there is no such thing as a stupid question There is such thing as not being able to type, though. All right. So they're checking right now. They're saying, yeah, I think so. So I wonder if it'll be Menorah again or maybe it'll be uh, another map. But, geez, these guys are uh, <clears throat> killing my throat, to be honest. But yes, so while we're going through, guys, looks like uh, up to 465 backers now, $41,172 pledge. So thank you so much to everyone out there making your pledges and uh, donating uh, their hard-earned cash to uh, this amazing game. Uh, for anyone that might have just joined us, you can check out playmidair.com and go up into the right This is my right hand, yeah, right-hand corner, <laughs> uh, top right-hand corner. Where the green button is, you'll see uh, support us via Kickstarter or something to that effect. And click on that and it'll take you to this page. You scroll down, you'll be able to see different rewards depending on how much you donate to them for this Kickstarter. You'll be able to get a, very, basically a various amounts of of uh, perks for help, helping support the game. I'd say the biggest one is $175. You do get instant access after the Kickstarter campaign has completed, which will be in about 28 days and maybe a few days after that. And you'll be able to be play this game as soon as possible. All right, so let's see here. My apologies, guys. I thought we were going to be playing another one. Hello? Hey, there we go. What's Sorry, going on, Projecto? <laughs> no, it's all good. Yeah, I'd imagine. There's a lot of vehicles drive outside my window. So, guys, uh, some amazing games there. It looked like uh, at the, the very first game of Projecto, it looked like your team was having a little issues on the offensive side. But after that, uh, yeah. very, very close games. And, I mean, the LT games, I think, hands down, were, were my favorite. For starters, oh, it was, yeah. it was yeah, a lot less people. The LT has been actually shaping up uh, pretty well. I mean, it's it's been playing like that actually for like, I think a few months now. Um, since they've got like the LT, the real like small scale LT maps in, it's been uh, it's played really well. Um, and I think that's what a lot of the pickup people really like doing so far. The base stuff has been sort of slowly creeping in, so there's still a lot of work to be done with base, and it's a lot harder to balance. So that's like an ongoing process. But LT is like already really really plays pretty well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, with a base for anyone out there watching, I mean, currently there's no sensor network, which I believe is something that's in the works um, and some other things that are kind of uh, necessary to have in that game with the amount of players you usually have in comparison. But yeah, the, the there's still a lot of action in that base game. I definitely caught myself uh, trying to catch my breath uh, quite a few times, but I, I feel like the 5v5 really kind of toned it down a little bit, but still a ton of action. I swear whenever I switch to any of your guys' first person view, uh, just MAs coming out from everyone. And uh, Mavi, I got like a, a huge streak of him. It was pretty crazy. So, nice. um, Dark Lord, how'd you feel uh, your team performed? Uh, we definitely did better um, that first game. Uh, we switched the teams around a little bit for Verdant, and that's always one that Praj has been really good at. Um, especially with, he picked all the heavy offense players, so he had Desco, Tarzal, um, User all the channel. Tribe 2 classic guys. Um, who absolutely love the base play. Um, mm. My team was more LT uh, player heavy. Unfortunately, we lost Tarzal that first game, who was like our main hoe. Yeah. Halfway through the game. Yeah, along with Desco, Tarzal was our, our second like anchor there, so that kind of threw us for a loop. Um, and they tried, but yeah, it was, it was hard to make up for that. Yeah, for sure. I saw Tarzal doing some crazy stuff there in the first game. Um, So... Uh, so we got Proj and Dark Lord talking a bit here. What about a uh, good old uh, Stork? I don't know you personally, but uh, you've definitely been a, a a big voice in the Tribes One community. How are you liking the game so far, and how did you feel the games went? 
Uh, I'm loving the game so far. I felt the games went... It was actually kind of a surprise. I didn't expect to lose tonight in the LT, but the LT boss got upset. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Corey, what about, or Reticle for people out there that don't know him, I've been cor calling you Corey all night. How do, how do you like the game so far? How's uh, how the games go for you? Came in a little bit late. Uh, yeah, games went great. Surprisingly uh, closer than I expected. I liked, uh, I really didn't feel that confident in our last game, and we ended up having... Uh, a bit of a comeback. We we managed some uh, cool things we eked out there at the end, so that was really nice. As far as gameplay goes for me, uh, I still really like it. They've I haven't played as much hey, as guys up. like Fire and Mavi and some of these guys, so there's still some getting used to you, you know new projectile speeds and things like that. So uh, I think just a little more time, and then I'll I'll feel a lot more comfortable with it. All right, apologies out there. I guess uh, people couldn't really hear you, which is weird considering it's all turned up. Let me. Change something else here. You can go into TeamSpeak so and adjust his volume manual. Right click on it. God, no, I'm getting. A change some... volume. Yeah, I, I just uh, went through and. Who the hell? I don't even know where this noise has come from. There's, I've, I've installed so many chat things on my thing. I don't know what's making what noise. It's insane. By the way, you guys should be. I think they could at least hear you a little bit, but uh, now they should be able to hear you better. So, yeah, guys. Uh, Amazing games. Let me think here. So Mabel, we got Mabel in here. Hi. Uh, you played in a few of the base games. How how did you feel the games went? Um, you know, I thought they I thought they went really good. I thought they were pretty exciting. Uh, did we do we fix our volumes? Okay. Yeah, I thought I thought they were actually you know they were really exciting, and I was uh I was pleasantly I was very pleasantly surprised by the matchups. Yeah, I mean. I uh, coming in, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but the games were e even the first game, like it wasn't that far out of reach um, for uh, projectiles team. I don't think, but yeah, no, was, we struggled. Yeah. <laughs> well, I could tell you guys are struggling, but you know, uh, it wasn't like that lopsided where you guys got uh, capped out, shut out or anything like that, you know? Yes. And uh, I think the only person I haven't talked to fire, how did you like the games? You played in both the base and the LT. Uh, you probably shouldn't ask my opinion because I'm a midair shill. So, <laughs> so people actually, they don't care about my opinion. I see. No, well, I, well, I, like, I, uh, I care about your opinion. So the first game, we lost Tarzo. His internet crapped out, so we had to, we, we got made, made to play. Was I on your team in the first game, Fire? No, we came in the second game. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So uh, Mabel, of course, he's not as good as Tarzo at Ho, so. Wow. <laughs> no offense. But, um. No oh. It put, like a lot of this stuff is brand new. Like within the week, mm -hmm. the repair pack we just got, we just got some other new stuff. So we weren't actually sure how this was gonna play out. The mortar just got buffed. Uh, Hoff just got buffed. This is the first time we ever played with uh, heavies on flags. So we really weren't sure how it was gonna play, and it played better than expected. And there's still a lot more to add into the game. Yeah, I saw some so instances on Verdant. Uh, projectiles team was running like double Hoff. Yeah, they're running a bunch of. If they don't, if they don't they want to attack so our gens, yeah, if they don't want to attack our gens, we're gonna do silly stuff like that. Like you get, you gotta spread it out, and that's that's actually what some of the stuff I liked back from Tribes Two Classic is that like you can run like whatever you want, but there's a lot of like soft counters to that stuff, and a lot of like setup differences. It's sort of like in a class-based shooter, how you mix up your classes or something. You do a similar sort of thing in in the base play, switching people's positions. Yeah, so if they don't the want to attack yeah, the gens, yeah. it means we can do stuff like put a Take bunch of turrets HD on the flags and double them. HOFs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, like I said, I was switching to a lot of your guys' first person views a lot, and you're getting a lot of MAs, and uh, people were claiming, you know, it's easier in this game. And what are, I mean, all you guys have been playing a tribes like game for ages. And can, can you speak to uh, if it, in midair, is it easier to get in midair? Is it just as hard? Is it just you guys been playing the game a lot? I've, I've played everyone for 18 years. And there's, I, I mean, I, I saw some of those messages in chat and I definitely don't agree with them. I don't feel it's like so easy to get midairs. When it comes to up close midairs, once you really find that, that groove in the ping and you know how it's interpolated with an Unreal Engine, I think you'll get good at them, but any player will over time at any game anyway. And when it comes to like the long range, you still have to have that kind of prediction in you. I, I don't think it's overwhelmingly easy at all. Yeah, and I, don't, I don't know if everyone on the stream knows the pedigree of a lot of the people they had playing in this particular game. 
but uh, the players we have are some of the best players from every single game. Uh, we have Stork, Reticle from T1, Praj uh, from T2, Sin, myself, Fire, we all played a lot of Legions, and I've played every game, really. Um, and so we have an enormous amount of top, top players in that one game. And so, and and we've been playing for months too, most yeah. of us. So yeah. uh, we, we've gotten pretty used to the system. I gotta say, for the um, the MAs, I actually I feel they're a little easier in other games. But I actually like that because it makes them more consistent, actually. And all it does is really like it changes sort of the engagement distances. It's like it's very consistent up close. So if you want to play against MAs, you just you you gotta like hang back a little bit or bait them out, and then you can sort of rush them down and stuff at, in between the reloads. There's there's interesting things going on there. It's not just like oh it's it's brainless. It's stupid easy. And also people can maneuver a lot more in this game than other ones. You have things like grenades that historically you've never been able to mid-air them like at long or close range. Now you can mid-air them like pretty much everywhere. So Yeah, the other thing that's kind of contributing to that is um, Mabel is something of a savant when it comes to netcode. And so Feels like zero the netcode that we have in mid-air is just, it's second to none. Um, especially when you compare to T1, T2. Um, we pl the Meller Microphone and some of the other guys, they're Euros. They were playing on New York server. And Microphone you activated. probably wouldn't even notice if you didn't look at the actual ping numbers because it just doesn't affect them. They can still hit every shot. As long as your internet is stable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it if starts to fall apart there. But shockingly I mean, bad in general. It's not going to work. But... <laughs> we're, we're working on it. We're... Yeah. No, I mean, personally, for me, especially being West Coast, I've always. Uh, not enjoyed playing on the East Coast servers, especially back in the Tribes of Sun days. But coming to this game, you know, even having around the 100, 150 ping, it's it's really not that big of a difference. So kudos to you, Mabel, for putting that together. And uh, yeah, it, felt, it feels really good. Uh, so going through, so we're not going to play any more games, right? Not tonight, I don't, I don't think. think. We have more tonight. scheduled for tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, and tomorrow for, 8 p.m. Yeah, same times. Uh, for By the everyone. way, guys, $175. You can come in, get mid aired yourself. <laughs> and this is why we say fire is a shell. We welcome you. <laughs> of, course. Smoke. Yes, of course. Of course, this is all part of the uh, 48 hours of mid air, mid air, just going through our archetype studios, I should say, going through and starting up their Kickstarter uh, yesterday, already up to $41,487, which is just amazing with 468 backers. So. Thank you so much to everyone out there that is uh, putting their hard-earned money into this game and supporting it. I think it uh, definitely will be worth your investment. If you go to playmidair.com and you check out the uh, top right-hand corner of the page, you'll see support our Kickstarter. It'll take you to the page that is on the stream right now, and you can scroll down through it. It'll show you all the different backer tiers they have. for Depending on how much um, money you donate, you'll be able to get certain uh, perks based on that. So... And I'd say the most popular one is probably going to be that $175 range, which will give you instant access to the uh, alpha once uh, the Kickstarter has ended in 28 days. And well, it's instant. Yeah, instant access is, is different from alpha, but just so oh, people okay. are aware. Oh, okay. My mistake. Alpha is like roughly, I think they said nine months after. It goes instant access, then alpha, then closed beta, then uh, early access open beta, I think. Yeah. Okay. That is the order. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, trying to think, is there anything uh, else any of you guys want to add about the, the game? Anything that I probably don't know that you know that it would be interesting to people watching out there? Uh, we can talk about some of the weapons a little bit more. Um, so, one of the things that you may have seen is we were all kind of adjusting our chain. Uh, we had pulled it back a little bit. Uh, last build, it was kind of crazy. It felt nice, this build, I think. Um, it's not overpowering, especially close range like it was before. Um, anyone else want to talk to that? The old I, CG was really exciting. I mean, the CG is kind of interesting. The, 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 I think Mabel's planning to do a heat mechanic in a sort of like Legion so that you can't just like hold it down and, and hold your left mouse button down and, and track people's heads and just win the game. Um, yeah. I've actually been dueling a lot of people recently, and I actually use the ring launcher as my primary weapon. There's a lot of different ways to juke chain gun and, and sort of weapon, weapon heckle them, uh, but it, it feels generally pretty good. I think the main thing with the chain gun, where it feels oppressive, is like when it's like a team deathmatch situation, and you're not looking at someone, and you're 
in their perspective, you're sort of floating straight across the, uh, across their screen, and they just like instantly hose you down because it has a ton of DPS, and you're not actively dodging them. Uh, but I'd say, generally speaking, it's it's it feels like it has a pretty solid niche without being um, uh, too overbearing in a lot of situations. And like I said, I've been I, the ring launcher is sort of my bread and butter, and I've been traditionally a big chain gun sniper guy. Yeah, and for those who aren't familiar with it, the heat mechanic. Um that is kind of being thought of is as you move faster, you'll dissipate heat. And so from a chasing perspective, if you're moving quickly, it doesn't affect you at all, really. Uh, and then in close range, when you're just kind of holding the button down and spamming, um, like Mabel does, uh, <laughs> in that situation, <laughs> it's not going Real to be talk. quite as effective. Yeah, Mabel and Isa. Yeah, no, the the plan is, is just to pull pull back the DPS like a, a decent amount when in slow range because that it can get a little bit can get a little bit silly, um, yeah. but it's um but for most CTF gameplay um it's it's pretty good outside of a few select situations it's it's, it's I like the balance a lot that we've we've gotten honestly just across all the weapons. Prize, do you want to talk to sniping a little bit? Sniping. Oh, yeah, I like the sniper rifle. It's a it's a very fast projectile in this one instead of a uh, hit scan, which is really the way to go, frankly. Um, I mean, you could technically balance a hit scan rifle, but what ended up happening is you you you'd be doing like ten percent of the guy's damage per shot, and it would just feel totally pathetic. This one takes a, I think exactly half a light's health off at full energy, uh, so it's still got some kick to it. So it feels good when you shoot it, but the projectile means that. Once you get to a certain range, it's kind of volatile in terms of uh, how well you can hit. The thing I like most about it, though, is that it really rewards good positioning. More, you really want to set up like straight line where where they're not moving laterally across your screen. Um, so you can't just be some sort of aimbot and just get away with that with no tribe skills at all. Which I, I felt you could do that in other tribes games a little too much. Like all you had to do was be a good sniper, and you were like contributing like 80% of what a, like a really good player that could also snipe do, uh, does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Immune. That reminds me. Uh, anyway. I don't think he's even here, is he? <laughs> <laughs> are these, is this? Tell us, Tribe. Uh, oh, oh tell I top. No, it's mean? just a reference to you know, being only good at sniping and uh, being, <laughs> yeah. being very effective. That, but anyway. that actually annoyed me. In <laughs> the end days in T2, I felt like sniping just became so powerful that you didn't really need a lot of other skills if you were good at that. And Man, Tribes 1 was so hard when when the game came out and everyone was sniping because we all had like 250 to 300 ping. Yeah, it, it's not so far no ahead of these Yeah, with, the, with the lag compensation, like it's kind of the long distances set, so. people render on their computers now, it's just like it, it just really feels terrible uh, to get sniped all the time. And I think Tribes Ascend, that was a big problem for a lot of people. You just you start a cap route and you're getting sniped across the map by like it feels like aimbots all the time from some of these competitive snipers, and it's just not like a fun experience, and it doesn't feel rewarding, and it and it, there's just a lot of problems with that. Yeah, I think the rewarding bit is the key thing there for the sniper. When you hit a longer range shot with the projectile-based sniper, it actually feels really rewarding because you know it's not the exact same mechanic as someone close up, um, like the hit scan is. Yeah, you really do have to lead. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we were talking earlier about uh, you know how hard it is to balance base in comparison to something like LT. What a... Like as far as the the heavies and everything like that, like in Tribes Two Classic, I can think a heavy shield pack was one of the most dreaded things to go against if you didn't have something like Conks. Obviously, that's not in this game yet. What do you, how do you feel about the uh, the heavy balance right now with shield packs? Because I've seen some guys in midair uh, doing some work, and I'm not like obviously I'm probably not going to be able to kill them because I suck at the game. But uh, with you guys, like how do you feel the the balance is right now, and is it going in the right direction? Yeah, it's definitely going in the right direction. We had a change just this patch um, where the shield pack is kind of nerfed compared to what it used to be, and it was much more manageable to deal with Desco and Tarzol than it was even just like three days ago. Um, and so as a light, you definitely have options. The blaster is currently insane. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Um, even yesterday, it was like 
you would just melt people in instants. Um, and it was brought back down for this patch that we got today, which is nice, but it's still very, very strong for dealing with heavies. Because um, it bleeds through take, the shield pack a lot more. If you take conks out of the equation from D2, uh, the heavy shield right now is still much more manageable in midair. Mm -hmm. Obviously, conks sort of mess around with that. We don't have them yet. Um, but... I was I was dueling to Arsenal Desk the other day, and I think I lost like every one v one light energy versus heavy shield. But I think people need to realize that's like sort of supposed to happen. Yeah. Um, it, they're supposed. I mean, because think about it: you spawn, you have to go into the base, suit up in heavy shield, and then lug your slow ass across the the terrain to set up. You should be beating those one v ones, and what you should be doing on defense is sort of zoning them out. Uh, and, and staggering their clear so they can't get effective clear timing off and stuff rather than just going in their face and expecting to 1v1 them. And right now it's struck a good balance. So they're still favored in 1v1, but you can do a lot of damage to them and you can disrupt them pretty well. And I think that's sort of like the direction you want to go. Uh, and I think that's, and it'll improve. I, all, most of the balance issues, I want to say, are we're very, very well aware of them. Um, uh, Mabel's pretty good at playing the game himself, as some might say. And uh, uh, I think most of this stuff you'll see iterated for a long time and uh, and improved slowly. Yeah, for sure. Um, also, another thing, uh, the, the grenade launcher, I think, feels amazing. Does anyone else agree with this? Like, it's probably the best grenade launcher I've, I've felt like since a T1, T2 Classic. I could say the midairs are awesome. I felt <laughs> like the T1, you... The range for a midair on a grenade launcher is just, it was insane. Oh, you it's get one like every like month, maybe you'd get a, a, a midair. <laughs> it was total luck. It was like, yeah, now they're yeah, like. Yeah, you can hit consistently in this game. And it's good now because um, it gives you a reason not to play sniper, not to use the sniper because cause the grenade's a little better. And the, kind of the, the whole concept with having three that you can shoot right in a row and then reload, you can. This, the splash is huge. It's, it's like the same as like T1. Yeah, it's T1 levels, I'm pretty sure, right? Really I good. Like... T, T1 feels easier to control like the exact spot you're going to hit someone, but you can definitely hit really far as well. Oh, yeah, I think that's, yeah. The inheritance the, is a little the different. Three the clips, yeah, the inherit, it's, that's the inheritance, yeah. The three clips are, make some nice decisions in duels because you can go for the MAs at close range, but if you mess up, then you don't have them to shoot when they land, so you have to make a little bit of decision-making. It's not just, oh, I'm just going to spam like my 10 grenades all over the place because you need no reloads. Um, so I like that dynamic of it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I do, uh, Mabel, this is more of a question for you, I think, since you're uh, within the development process. Are you able to speak to like a, a CC or command circuit type thing with the sensors and everything being integrated to uh, help out in the in in base just by being able to set up a sensor network? And yeah, uh, okay, yeah. So so we're um, we're uh, really big fans of sort of the more expanded um, uh, gameplay that we can get in base. And well, I mean, we don't you know have it all right this moment but um things like i mean so for sure we want all of that stuff right um it's great it adds like a bunch of layers of, of strategic depth and um you know it's just like it's it's really appealing for um those reasons um you know we're we're, we're working on it right like their features they're on the they're on the to-do list it's a uh, yeah it's a lot of work there's a lot of stuff to do you know yeah exactly and this is why they started this kickstarter guys because there's a lot of stuff in this game that is difficult to do and uh i mean like uh, bugs was saying a lot of the stuff that if if you do uh, pledge and donate to the kickstarter this is really going to be going towards uh outsourcing and getting uh people to uh work on things that they just can't do due to the fact that obviously they're uh, a small uh company that is not quite making money yet so you know going through and uh, helping these guys out with the money and getting them the ability to outsource certain things like that will allow us to see things that uh, for me personally that i love seeing from the old tribes games like the command circuit so on and so forth and uh, things that are just going to open up uh, these things a lot quicker within the process and get us uh, some really awesome gameplay that is going to be very uh, immersive and very uh, like a uh, I don't know. I'm not good with words, but you know, it'll be fun and it'll be a very strategic like. So, uh, definitely 
go to uh, playmidair.com. Uh, click on that link in the top right hand corner. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I'm actually kind of sitting away from my mic, got a little too comfy there. Uh, click on that uh, green link in the top right hand corner and uh, check out the Kickstarter page that I have up on the stream right now. And, uh, you know, if you have the means and please uh, pledge anything you can, every uh, dollar helps these guys out into getting this game to us as quickly as possible. So. So uh, going through it, and uh, as far as uh, the games, I think we pretty much uh, covered the games pretty well. Is there anything um, as far as uh, we know you guys like LT right now? Obviously, there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been added in the base project yet. Um, but as far as uh, LT goes, um, do you really see that being uh, maybe the future of competitive midair for you guys? Or do you, are you still open to uh, more things coming through base and uh, being more mm, like a, t- a T2 class. That's a dangerous question. It is a dangerous <laughs> question. Especially Mace kick off group. a civil war within the channel. <laughs> yeah. A lot of opinions on well, that uh, channel. Yeah. Let's start it, though. I mean, uh, you know, getting the discussion going, letting people hear it, uh, different arguments, you know, it just kind of gives people more information that they need. And you guys are, like uh, Dark Lord was saying, these, you guys have been playing games for these kinds of games for a long time, and just you know a lot about it. You know a lot of stuff that uh, pretty much 99% of the people out there wouldn't know. So there is a discussion. I, I say, uh, you know, bring up some of your points and things like that. You know, um, well, I don't know. I'll let one of the more opinion made people go. Thanks for that, Mabel. Um, so, yeah, basically, I think we can all agree that they're very different niches. Um, base is a more slower, methodical kind of play style. Um, there's a lot more objectives, there's more opportunity for players who maybe they don't have quite the level of dueling skill um, to help out with. Uh, there's always the turret farmer or the base defender uh, who doesn't need quite that same uh, skill set. I think a lot of us are drawn to the LT because it's a little faster paced. It's easier to get a game going, um, which is not a trivial factor in the older tribes games. Um, but I, there's definitely room to support both of them for competitive leagues who exist for both of them because any team that can play base can field an LT team. Yeah, I feel like the LT teams are probably just going to be subsets of the base teams. Like you got seven people to ten people for your base team, and then you get draw five of them out for your LT team. There's a lot of uh, the nice part. Uh, LT is sort of like a subset of the skills you use in base, and they're just more like they're more emphasized like. Um, like you need to be better. You both need to be able to like catch flags and stuff and chase and both. But in LT, you need since there's fewer things being tested, you have to do those really, really well. Where in base, you can sort of get away with not being so good at them and and being better at like a broader skill set. So, uh, but the skill sets are very shared. So if you're good at base, you'll probably be good at LT to a certain extent. I think it's more if you're good at LT, you'll be good at base. But okay. not necessarily. <laughs> this is where we get dangerous, right? <laughs> Well, no, I mean, prizes out, outnumbered in this channel. No, yeah, I, I'm I'm a big uh, base base homer. I'm on your side. Yeah, I'm on your side, Praj. Don't worry. I mean, I think I, you I guys like... go ahead, go ahead, Mabel. I, I like this. I like the strategic depth. I think that that's a real, you know, it's a big, that's a big deal for adding variety. I mean, you know, I, you know, I don't know exactly how high ground because I played leases for cows at years, but um, you know it. Not everyone is a, a fan of just grinding out the same six maps for years on end. I am. Um, yes, I know. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's really important for us to uh, build out the, the other game plan. We have quite a few people who are very enthusiastic about it. Um, so, <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, I think the biggest thing, that's kind of the answer I was hoping for, though, is that like regardless you still have uh the means to facilitate you know both of these i mean if you like lt you're probably also going to like base and so on and so forth and if yeah. you have a base team you're going to be so i mean it's not really I, I think it's it's great that we have both these being introduced in the same game because i think it will really be able to still go forward and you're not going to have like like obviously you guys are talking about the the difference between your guys' opinion and everything like that but i think it really kind of shortens the list and allows us to sorry something but allows us to just kind of get over what's better lt or base it's like well i mean they're both fun we can play them both so why not you know it's nice to have options yeah exactly yeah 
I, I mean, you know, we've always said that the core of uh, the core, the core of good base gameplay is is good LT gameplay. So, hey. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you if your game doesn't play LT well, you probably have some serious problems with the sort of the core design of it. I think that's fair to say. That doesn't mean when you have good LT that the base plays well. I mean, uh, but. Uh, I think that's like I agree that that's I think a requirement to have good core gameplay. Yeah, and uh, gotta give a huge shout out to Bug Spray in the background giving us topics because I gotta be honest, I'm kind of running out of things to say. But with this topic, uh, for you guys here in the channel, what kind of um, what stretch goals are you really interested in seeing happen? Scroll down a little bit. <laughs> going, I'll say exactly what I want. Why are you such a <laughs> scroll, scroll down. He's very specific. You're such a noob. Dude, 325,000. The mech. 325,000. That's where it's at. Is that, oh my God. What's 325? Is the mech? The mech, it's yeah. The, it's the mech. Oh, no. I, that's the, I want the... Uh, no, no. You got to have the mech. Come on. All right, guys. Listen, listen. 275. Yeah. Right Pick up game matchmaking. Think about this. Think about your pubbing. You're playing. You open up the menu. You you say join a pickup game and you can keep pubbing. You're waiting, you're just waiting for it to fill up. Ten players pop up, you piss, you already pick positions and it picks teams for you and, bam, you get popped into a, a pickup game. Yeah, straight from like, the yeah. pub. Yeah. Think about like a, a pickup game bot on IRC. That's what I want. Invest yeah, like in 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 integrated it. pickup game bot would be really cool. It's just a dream. Like a pickup game bot from the. They would do IRC it with IRC. Games. They would like attribute yeah. values with certain games, and then they would automatically yeah, pick teams. Like they do that. With, they did with Dota. Really TF2, yeah. yeah. That's what I want uh, there. I, I think. I think. Uh, actually, looking down this, I haven't taken a huge glance at this, but actually, one hundred ten thousand, which is actually pretty realistic, I think. Uh, stretch goal is you get a game type, and I'm seeing jackpot mm -hmm. there, which is conspicuously similar to a game mode from Tribes 2 called Team Rabbit 2, uh, which is like one of the coolest things ever. It, it's like Rocket League on steroids. It's like, I still think it's the best like sport type, uh, like first person, third person type game in existence. Uh, Team Rabbit 2, that is. Yeah. I'd love to see something like that. So, dude, I love, dude, I would so love to do that, but... It says dual dual mode, which I'm guessing. I mean, you could duel either way. You you don't actually need dual mode. You just pick go into a server, <laughs> and just fight each other. But I'm 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 thinking what they mean by dual mod right there is like ELO rankings and stuff like that, which which is pretty cool. That's what I want to say. ELO One. rankings and like it like you get put into a queue. Maybe CS:GO does this where you 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 go into like one v ones and it switches players every time one your one v ones done. There's some really cool things you could so do like with that. King of the Hill or something. Uh yeah yeah exactly yeah like a king of the hill one v one duel I'm not sure exactly what they're talking about with their stretch goal like that but you could do some really cool things with duel and I love duel dark lord yeah, you have any just getting on a team and dueling yeah if we look at uh, two twenty five um you can see that siege is on there um, and well I am <laughs> oh, firmly in the yeah. LT bot camp uh as far as normal gameplay goes uh ten years ago or more I was back playing tribes two siege uh and that. It's a very, God. very different game than normal Capture the Flag, but it's really enjoyable, and there's a lot of like individual flair that you can have for that. Um, I saw Red Shifter in the Twitch chat, an old Siege guy. Um, it, it was never very big, but it was very, very interesting, different than normal CTF gameplay. It emphasized different skill sets, um, and a lot of the base artifacts, things like Cloak Pack, Center Jammer, Whiteouts, they actually had play in Tribes 2 Siege. Um, and so it would be interesting to, at least as a Cat nostalgia mouse. type thing, um, get that back. Yeah. Uh, Stork, you have anything in particular you want to see? Maybe he's not here anymore? Stork here? No, I don't think so. Corey, you Mortal here? Player. Stork Rabbit. wants to, Stork wants Team to Rabbit, see. Dude. Yeah, Team Rabbit. I can speak for oh, yeah. Stork. He wants, I want Team he Rabbit, wants... though. I don't want Team Rabbit, too. Nah, you gotta go team out of two, man. Anyways, uh, Stork wants missile Second launchers both. and hey, wait a minute, of, <laughs> <laughs> lots of variants of missile launchers. I was letting the dog out. What are we talking ones? about? We're asking you, uh, what stretch goal do you think is the best? Which one do you want to see? Oh, the matchmaking for sure. 
The pickup game matchmaking? That's the one that matters most to me. Oh, yeah, the pickup game matchmaking. <laughs> I'm taking say, off. I'll catch you guys there. It's not to see say these things, we won't see them at all User anyway. It's from to your say, channel. I think what these stretch goals are is these things would be in release, right? If you yeah. got these stretch goals and you could hire people. Yeah. So it's a lot of these things you'll probably see anyway down the line uh, after the game's released. And hopefully we can have some, like, if, if you really want to see something, you know, go on the forum and talk about it. And it'll get upped in priority. So this is just stuff like, for release. Like know. missile launchers. Definitely Having talk about missile launchers. To help them to add these games what I'd really like and stuff. is, like, a backer reward that would get rid of Proj, his opinion on this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. All right. There's already one. Uh, I think they're talking, if you donate... Either 10,000, 20,000, you can legally change his bug spray's name. So he won't be called Chris anymore. You can pick his new name. <laughs> oh my god. So someone get on that. Yeah. Also, He's how, much is bug spray, how much yeah. is bug spray's beard worth? I Have think it was 2,000. 2,000? It? it was either 1,000 or 2,000, I think. That's, that's a lot of money. Uh, speaking, <laughs> speaking of the Kickstarter, just Bennett been informed. Beard. Uh, that we've raised six hundred and fifty-five dollars during the streaming session. So thank you, everyone out there that's been watching and donating as you go along. Hopefully, um, again tomorrow we're going to be casting as well. I know that tonight's cast was kind of uh, hairy there for a little while. I was still getting used to the observer controls and everything like that. But hopefully, it was a little bit better as time went on. So wait, you were doing like first person spectating? No, I wasn't, and people didn't like uh, that. Okay. So I say we're already better than TA. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be more pickups e tomorrow. There's also going to be, I think, the there's a podcast schedule. Yeah, at, uh, I think there is. I hope there is because I was supposed to be on there. So. Yeah, I think it's at five uh, yeah. o'clock. So if you want to hear about like um, random topics and game design stuff, I think that's a that's a good place to get a more extended view on that kind of thing and logistics and all that good stuff. Oh yeah. But yeah, again, thank you to everyone that has donated uh, between that six hundred and fifty-five dollars that were raised during this time. Uh, we're gonna end the stream for now. Coming back on though, in about fifteen minutes, it is going to be Chris, aka Bug Spray, is gonna be doing a little Q and A uh, session, uh, answers on uh, gameplay and things like that. I'll actually pull up this nifty little uh, thing. So yeah, gameplay Q and A with Chris. From 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern, and after that, we're going to have two hours of level design with Stealth RG, so that should be good. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for joining me and talking a little bit about the game, and uh, I look forward to watching you guys again tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you for having See us. You yeah, thanks for casting. See you later. Take it easy, guys. $75. Come get smoked. <laughs> Sound microphone muted. All right, guys, we are now muted from them. But either way, again, thank you so much for all the donations that you've made today. Uh, I mean, already at $41,487,000 with uh, 468 backers. So that is just so amazing. And uh, for everyone that is going to stick around, you can ask Bug Spray any questions you got about uh, gameplay, everything like that. And I think that just about does it for me. Uh, thanks for hanging out again, guys. I do apologize if you weren't enjoying too much the stream at the beginning. I'm kind of getting used to it. Hopefully you kind of liked it a little bit more what I was doing with the first person stuff and everything. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully some of you guys rejoin us and I'll ask you about uh, the way that you want me to kind of do uh, mess around with the camera. We'll see if we can make that better. Uh, go to playmidair.com. Check out the top right-hand corner of the screen. Click on that support our Kickstarter and start donating to this amazing project being uh, brought to you guys by Archetype Studios. I'm going to get off now, and you guys take it easy. And I'll see you tomorrow at 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern for some more midair pickup game action.